glass. Hello. Yeah. Hi. What's Gre up? Hey. Greetings, salutations. Hello. Welcome back to Fandolin. You guys have Hello, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 My name's Thomas. I was telling Chad about the the mashed clip and what so cute. whoever whoever here is yeah whoever here did that i really do appreciate that in our chat because it was it was like thursday i saw it and went what that's awesome forgot because i'm old like that and then a couple of hours later i was i went back to my discord saw it again it was like oh yeah that's so cool <laughs> yeah his long, brain right? don't work right anytime my, he steps outside it's like he sees it, sunlight for the first time Holy shit, work is that right. a pigeon? it's incredible when you he doesn't it? remember he doesn't remember a goddamn thing shut the Help fuck him. up judy <laughs> When you when you linked it, I looked at the image and you're like, do you notice anything? And I saw the little actual gnome down the middle, and I was like, "Fuck uh, you!" Is he, is is he, he trying that to? That's, no, yeah, I was like, I was like, is that a stretch? Like, what is this? What? what like, I didn't. Think, I did and, see and then the I gnome. The right. I didn't see the gnome until someone. I, I wasn't even looking until I looked around. I was like, "Oh shit!" There's a bunch of little Easter eggs in here. <laughs> yeah, I did, did not look to the right. Oh, until poor last. Joe. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, I'm coming across like I'm from 20, 2018 be like, hey guys, you see something here? <laughs> it's still fucking really good though, that joke. Yeah. It's um, a classic. What? Sure. The oh, no. sorry. Uh, Juni, uh, uh, a few Holy years shit, back. Zoomer moment. A few years ago, there was like a gnome. You, you've been gnomed. It was a very popular sorry, meme. Sorry. Uh, oh, next yeah, time, no, next time they'll be sure to add like a fucking you... skibbity toilet or some shit. For Holy you shit, tomato. <laughs> do not fucking. Jesus. Not today, dude. Not fucking today. Of course I know about get gnomed, dude. I thought I thought you were talking about like a specific gnome related Easter egg from some other D&D yeah, yeah, yeah. campaign. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's not guy up a junior case she's been sad ever since they took out building from fortnite okay <laughs> dude i'm fucking telling my tiktok followers about this shit <laughs> i feel like because uh, usually tomatoes coming in from his stream so he's get you know he's getting prepared he's eating you know he's eating dinner he's just kind of chilling and we just have a chill uh offline chat while we're there and then the moment we go online i feel like tomato's got like this energy building up that he has oh, to swing wait, at someone what no mm? brett you can't hear like you can't hear like the calibration like mm. the, it's like a really quiet like beep beep no beep, 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 when no. he like locks onto me no i and, can't like, makes fun of me for being a zoomer. <laughs> no because i'm too old remember i can't hear certain tones so and it's true and i'm fucking upset about that so <laughs> Uh, real quick, and then we'll get into this. Um, a few years ago in one of our friends' discords, um, I think a video was posted that this park was playing this high pitch sound yep. uh, during evening hours to essentially keep away the Dude. youth. Dude, uh, that happened in England. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And but the thing is, after you're above a certain age, you can't hear the sound. Yeah. And I don't know what it sounds like because I can't hear the sound. Wait, all right. a, there was a whole thing in England about hoodies, which is basically like our chavs, are basically our local thugs. And they would wear hoods up, right? And that was like how you saw them. And to get them rid of, out of like shopping malls and everything, they played this high pitched sound for a period of time. I can't hear it. Look at a bunch of different locations. Yeah. I played it. That's I, wild. I played yeah. it to Visay. I was like, hey, can you hear this? And she was like, oh, my God. Like, I was just scrambling her brain. And I was like, <laughs> oh, OK, we're yeah. going to turn that off. <laughs> Jesus. What you should do? Mm. You should have a D and D monster that does that sound just to pain Junie. The rest of us <laughs> yeah, it, it's like no it's damage. like a little squirt bottle, like specifically for me, like whenever <laughs> I get too feisty. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a few years before I do that bit. I'm gonna wait like four or five years where everyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of at that point, but Junie's what? still not. And then I'll just oh. I'll I'll play the okay. sound every once in a while. All right, now that I've been an absolute tool uh let's go ahead and begin <laughs> let's get started with some D, D, yeah all right yes yeah okay so but up but up let me get um we are currently in fandelver however i think we had uh a couple of a couple of things we talked about last week so you guys first of all level three congratulations uh we, i the, this entire party survived from 
uh they're level two we didn't lose anyone thank god um and yeah you guys routed the red brands uh so a couple of things of note uh, especially if you're looking around town you will notice i've changed a couple of the tokens around uh because uh, fa uh below fandelver is coming out this month uh, and i have early access uh to that adventure module so i've been perusing seeing what kind of changes have been made and there have been some there have been some interesting changes, uh, including official art. Um, we are not sure he is now. Yeah, well, this is because his his this original picture is him in chains. So he, so he, that's, nice. that's the only oh. that's the only picture of Siltar we have. <laughs> so um, uh, there was also an update uh, to Lenin, but uh, fuck that. I like old Lenin. Uh, that's <laughs> we're we're keeping it that way, and that's how we're. Up here is also still the same. Can yeah. Update him. No, there's well, there was, there's never been any original, uh, any new, any art of him. So that's just kind of like a Google nice. search of like who's Elmer Barthen. Um, eventually, Classic I would, I would love to get a uh, bird to come in and just, just redo all of these tokens so that we have our, our own little fresh look. So, uh, so yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so we've got, uh, this is Sildar over here, Solemn Sildar. Sildar. Uh, this little tool over here is Harbin. That is the town master. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Harbin. Uh, so we've got those two. Um, there, uh, for those that are familiar with this dungeon, or sorry, with this adventure pa uh, pack, um, I'm going to be making a couple of changes from here on out. Uh, since we are doing a hardcore uh, game, I have essentially looked at the original content and the new remastered release content uh, of this adventure pack. And uh, there are some differences sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's a little harder. Sometimes it's a little easier. And uh, we're just going to take the harder version uh, All right. <laughs> of whatever. Nice. As we fucking should. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, yeah whatever. It. Amen. So if uh, if Amen. if if the original uh, had more monsters and the remaster has less, uh, we go with the we go with the original. If the remaster has more monster and the original has less, we go for the remaster. So, uh, so yes, we are. We're going all in. Um, also, as I mentioned last week, uh, I have applied my own little hardcore modifiers. Uh, it's kind of scattered throughout the world uh, as you encounter some things. Just a, a couple of twists and turns of my own design uh, that I factored in to make things just a little more, a little more spicy, a little more interesting. Uh, when you see those hardcore modifiers, I will I will let you know um, as there will actually be abilities and features that certain monsters have that I will inform you of uh, as it is happening and letting you know specifically that this is a modification for the hardcore game that we are playing. Uh, final recap I wanted to make uh, is... Who, who kept their fate fragments? I remember it was Sylvester and Veldrin. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. No, I spent mine. Okay. I thought someone saved theirs, or I guess not. No one saved yeah, theirs. Saved Sylvester. It. Yeah, Sylvester yeah. did. I thought two people saved it. Oh, that's right. You try to re-roll intelligence. I'm, I yeah. remember. I, <laughs> yeah. So what did I win? Uh, you, have a you, have a, you have a fate fragment. I didn't know if you were going to be making some change or something. And no, 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 no. That, that was me. No, that was me just trying to <laughs> remember who had a fate fragment so that your inventory uh, or your features are um, reflected yeah, accordingly. I thought I won something. Right? Not yet. Right. Give it a give it a couple of levels. Maybe you'll win something. Assuming you don't die in your sleep first. You. Yeah. Maybe. Insane old man. <laughs> Chin up. Uh, by the way, your experience, current experience is 994. To level up, uh, you need to get to 2,700 experience points. And I believe the rule that Tomato uh, placed upon himself is yes. every long rest, uh, we roll a D100. Um, it starts where at, at a roll of one, 
you instantly die, but every long rest you take before you level up, uh, that number increases by one. So we did the long rest. Well, no, technically you long rested leveled up, so that number's completely reset. But the next long rest uh, is if you roll a one, you you die in your sleep. Uh, the following long rest, if you roll a two or lower, you die in your sleep. So essentially yes. it's a little timer to like, <laughs> get you guys leveled, I guess. I don't... I don't yeah, can know. Can start picking up the fucking pace, guys, Let's, before I die? So, nah. pa pace picked up. <laughs> nah. Uh, pace picked up. Um, you guys had a couple of options. A couple of quests over on the quest board. Uh, Cryovane, the white dragon, is still flying around the Sword Coast. Uh, people are trying to prepare for that. Um, a, a quick change the quest with Myrna, and that's on me. Uh, Myrna will actually return. Myrna, by the way, uh, Myrna uh, Dendrar, you saved from the from the the the, the red brands. Um, she was hoping that you would be able to get a keepsake of hers that she unfortunately had to leave behind uh, her city of, th of, of Thunder Tree. Right, the uh, yeah, the heirloom. Uh, she will approach you guys kind of holding a stone of sending and she will mention she'll she'll mention over to you and she says um my uncle has has contacted me we are to leave neverwinter uh, immediately and quite honestly i would be thankful to leave the sword coast after everything that's happened to me and my family so i'm afraid i will not be coming back uh if you do decide to return to the thunder tree Instead, um, I suppose the only reward I can give you still is the location of the heirloom, so that you may keep it and do with it as you will. Uh, I was sort of saving it in case things got misfortunate. Uh, however, I do believe you will be able to sell it for uh, quite a quite a good price. It's the least I can do for for thanking you to, from for saving me. And that's uh, what she would tell you. So now he, she's going to leave town to Neverwinter because her uncle or her and her family are going to leave town. And the heirloom you find, you don't have to return to her. Instead, you can keep it or sell it or do whatever you want with it. Mm. So um, and that is over at Thunder Tree. So we wave bye bye to her. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> um, and as far as your... One of your main goals, I believe. Well, OK, <clears throat> so there was a couple of things we agreed upon last week, and I want to make sure that we are still on the same page or if that has changed since last week. Uh, you uh, will. Actually, I know for a fact, Crown probably has this in his notes. Uh, Crown. What's up? One of the quests uh, is to save an alchemist. Do you have that quest on you? Uh, yes, to, oh god, let me get her name. Uh, there was the old lady outside of town that the town master would like us to go save. Yes. Because she is the only one capable of making health potions. And it would be a great boon for the town if we brought her back by, I believe it was any means. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, all right. All yeah. right. Okay. I don't, I don't think I said that, but all right. You know, I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. oh my, make it work. Oh, my God. Um, finally, uh, so there is that, and I believe you agreed you would be doing that first today. Um, there are still two other uh, quests uh, on the quest board. Uh, if ever you are looking for a diversion or something else to do. And finally, the Kragmaws are still running rampant uh, across the Treebore Trail. Uh, even though that you were successful in clearing out the hideout, these pesky little goblins won't quit and probably uh, will never quit until the leader of the Kragmaw clan has been destroyed. And that would mean... <laughs> huh? What now? What? Thomas thinks about this castle full of goblins and salivates a little. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, uh, that does mean uh, there is a castle somewhere out there, Cragmaw Castle, uh, where not only is the leader of the of the entire Cragmaw goblins uh, are located, um, but it is believed uh, that Gundren and I think her name, I, I want to say 
Oh my god, this is old brain. Sorry about that. Uh, Valenth. There we go. Valenth Leodon. Um, Valenth and Gundren had been taken too. Uh, at least that is what Sildar said. And Sildar is willing to pay uh, a hefty amount of gold uh, for the, dis- com- the the complete disruption of these goblins. Uh, the only problem is you are unaware uh, of where Cragmaw Castle is located. Um, Sildar has come to you with a lead. Uh, she said that uh, he said that there is a f- uh, farmer kind of a little bit in the outskirts of town. Her name is uh, Quellen, uh, who has a, who knows a druid specifically in Thundertree um, that would know uh, more about the area since uh, he is someone of, of, of the uh, of the land. Uh, Sildar mentions that uh, she seems to be under the impression um, that he is well connected. I'm uncertain what that means, but any leads, any whatsoever to find Cragmaw Castle would be paramount to the good people of Phandalin. Uh, so, uh, if you do wish to t- speak with her when you're ready to do that, uh, she's right over there, just kind of tending to some crops a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, I believe your um, interest, your objectives that you were interested in uh, was to leave the town to get this uh, this, oh, this 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 alchemist uh, and bring her back to town. I guess by any means necessary. Um, and also... Uh, uh, going to either talking with her or going to Thunder Tree to find this druid, uh, so that you can find Cragmaw Castle. Oh. Uh, have I, uh, I? Yes. I believe I've covered everything, uh, unless there is something else we need to talk about. Uh, I'm just updating my notes. Long rest. We got a long rest, right? Oh yeah, that's how you got your. That's how you got your level up. Well, yeah. Okay. It's just I'm missing a hit dice for some reason. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, you know why? <laughs> it's 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 because you had zero hit dice and at long rests you only recover half. Ah. I will let the rule lawyers correct me in rule, the rules channel that because you leveled up, uh, you will actually be getting uh, all of your hit dice back as part oh. of that level up. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Nice. So Very I, cool. I, I believe that, I mean, that sounds right to me, but if it is incorrect, I'm sure someone will correct me in our rules layer channel and then we'll uh, never do it again. How does that sound? <laughs> Very generous. Uh, Thank perfect. you. Awesome. Very good. Because <laughs> now you can't just be like, I'm going to rest for two days because Sylvester might die. <laughs> yep. The, yep. Long, yep. the longer oh, yeah. you wait. Yeah. yeah, you don't. You Every night his picking. breathing gets quieter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more Jesus rattly. Christ. Is this There's it? Stuck in his chest. Is this the night? <laughs> is this the night that finally <laughs> happens? All right. Well, the stage is yours. Uh, what will the party be doing? Sorry. Give me uh, one moment. I'm updating my quest log. Sure thing. Um. Yeah. We. I think we're just gonna go straight into the yeah, whole Aquas thing, right? All right. Doing? What? What do you mean? Wait when a minute. I press F, I don't flip my portrait anymore. That's not. Oh, oh! hold oh on. Oh my one. God. Hold oh, on. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I do. That's all I do. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fuck, I'm, I'm trying to find the button. I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll fix it. No, it's my okay. nose. <laughs> my nose. <laughs> oh, no. You oh, motherfucker. No. I, oh, no. No, this had to happen. It had to. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Crowd, but Tomato owns you. Let's just be real. He, he owns own, he... <laughs> you. Dude, did something happen? It's taken forever to load back in. It Brett, takes, what did you do? It takes a minute. It's because there was a bunch of notes typing and, and oh. don't know. Gotta unload and delete all those notes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes this happens. Well, uh... Your world seems to take a while to load. Refer yes, to it's back. massive. Oh, okay. It's a all massive right, world. Right run 20 games or some shit it's massive humble flex uh, <laughs> it reset <laughs> all of my fucking notes Ooh. Um, so, oh okay oh. good <laughs> <laughs> Crown is losing it, but everyone else it's is just fl- 
flipping their tokens. <laughs> oh, so like, oh, good, it works. <laughs> Thank fucking God. <laughs> Crowned, I, I understand you're feeling pain right now, but um, that short is going to get a lot of views uh, when it finally does get made. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, chin up, Crowned. <laughs> chin up, bud. <laughs> We'll profit off that suffering. That's fine. Someone will get paid for it. Uh, yeah. You made a great sacrifice today. He made for, for entertainment. <laughs> hey, Cran, do you going to need another minute, bud? Yes. <laughs> this next going to be even better on the second pass through, you know, like. That's you know, right. Done, That's right. You already had a chance to process that. Brett, you have the opportunity to do something no, incredibly no, funny. No, 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 no. It has to be, just, it has to be joke. unintentional uh, for it to be funny. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just a dick. <laughs> Did he say how much he was going to pay us for escorting the alchemist back? I think it was like fifty or something. Uh, yeah, let much. me go and get that number for you. I think it was the quest cards. I actually will read. How about this? I'm just going to read the quest back to you. There you go. That's going to be good. <clears throat> the local midwife. An acolyte uh, of uh, Shantea by the name of Adabra uh, lives by herself in a stone windmill on the side of a hill uh, a few miles south of Phandalin. With dragon sightings becoming common, it's not safe for her to be alone. Urge Adabra to return to Phandalin. Once she's safe, visit Townmaster Arvin Wester to claim a reward of 25 gold pieces. Oh, 25. <laughs> Makes sense. 25 Cheap fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and bring it back. Uh, I think I got a. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. 25. 25 gold pieces for that, please. Perfect. Uh, if she decides she doesn't want to come back, oh, that's okay. We tried. <laughs> but don't. Whatever you do, don't force her to come back, okay? She can make By her own decisions. Means possible. <laughs> She'll be back. She'll be back, all right? Don't worry. <laughs> right. I don't care what you do. Just uh, bring her back. Uh, I'll give you 25 gold pieces, butter safe return. Oh, is that the sun? I gotta go. And then he just, he went. <laughs> His art, by the way, makes him look uh, really douchey. Like he's wearing these noble garb and clothes, you know? And he's so he's just very, he's flaunting himself around a little bit. Uh, he also walks with a cane and does not need to. So in fact, oh, every time he walks, he guy. spins the cane around and he looks around just to see if uh, anyone noticed his... Sweet tricks he did. No? No? Okay. That's all right. Hey, uh, anyone seen an alchemist by the name of Adabra? I'll give you 25 gold pieces. That's all we got in the budget. We're paying so... <laughs> the other one is speak to Quellen about the uh, yes. location of Cragmont Castle or the rumors pertaining to it. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, Kellen uh, is a uh, farmer that lives in Phandalin uh, who is uh, knows a druid who lives in the ruins of Thunder Tree. Uh, she's pretty much stated that if uh, you find him, he will be the one that will most likely know where uh, Cragmont Castle is located. Uh, a lot, and, and uh, she said, uh, "Who knows? Uh, he may even know the location of those uh, those mines that the, the, the that uh, Gund that that du those dwarves were looking for. He's very familiar with the land, and uh, I feel like he's associated with something, you know, uh, uh, a group or something with with a lot of power. But anyways, uh, I wish you the best of uh, best of luck. If you have any questions, please ask me." Perfect. Uh, okay. Now that my notes are reinstated. Did you save? Did you save, bud? Is yes. the notes saved? All right, cool. Yeah, you can refresh now. No, nah, we don't need to do that, you man. Motherfucker. But... <laughs> I did do it on purpose, bud. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Veldrin is going to, uh, looking at all of his companions, uh, if everybody is ready to go. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe it would be best if we go uh, find this Odobra and try to urge her to come back. I, health potions would be very useful. Bring them back by any means possible. <laughs> Night. That's Night. what you said, right? Any means possible? I think we can just talk possible. to them. 
it would be good for her. All right. Oh, also, you still have a, a Banshee to talk with if you ever decide that you want to do that. I, correct. <laughs> I believe that is... Is that, is that the one with the funny move? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one with the funny move. Yeah, oh, I don't want to do it. Uh, we can take him. It's I, Sister Garel's quest. Correct. She correct. She the a potential spell book from the Banshee. It does come with healing items, too, right? Yes, three uh, healing potions. So we reward you three healing potions for doing that, we yes. We do really like healing. Mm, yeah, we really like those, right. huh? It's a quick one, too. <laughs> it's a quick one. <laughs> yeah, quick way to reroll characters. Sure, <laughs> sure is, buddy. Sure is. <laughs> it's like oh, a little soft right. reset button over there. Anytime we want. <laughs> I'm bored with these characters. Where's the band? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bird. <laughs> 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 I grow tired of these toys. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fucked, All by right. the way. Uh, I believe they said a couple miles south of Fandolin in a uh, old windmill. That is correct. I shall I take you to the map now. Mm. Shut the frick up. I will delete your notes. I know where you keep them. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I know where they are. They're in that oh. token. I, hey, can wait a minute. I can remove that anytime. <laughs> Yo, Brett's going crazy. What the hell? I haven't DM'd in, in a few days. I'm going, going a little loopy, you know? A little twitchy, huh? <laughs> Based right. off the map, when you look down at this one, the official map, how many people would you guess live in Fandalin? Oh, mm. not a lot. It's a very right? small Thorpe. Because apparently it's a thousand people live here. That's a bullshit. Thousand? That's yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, okay, I get that. But also, this is like an artistic interpretation on like a map. Yeah, I guess. But. Okay, sorry. You got some more houses. Yeah, there's like, there's like 30 houses tops here. <laughs> Most of them are in big ruins. Families. Big families, yeah. Tight well, basements. Families. Where, where, did, where did you read that, <laughs> by the way, Joe? Where did you I, read that? I was, looking, I was looking at here, and I was thinking the pictures you showed us of Fandolin. I was like, wait, it does seem bigger when you showed us the new pictures of it. Yeah. So I just Googled population of Fandolin. This is 1,080. Uh, oh, um, that might be after Lost Mine, because at that point, the mine, theoretically, the mines would be opened up and, and then Fandolin is happy again. And it's a happy, 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 happy D&D. Or that was the original ending. Now, now I'm not so sure <laughs> with all the shit <laughs> yeah, I've been okay. looking at. Yeah, so. But who knows? Who knows? It could also be an artist's interpretation. That is correct. Uh, Underneath okay. every house, there's a basement where they keep the others. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> and, uh, that gave me pause for a second. I apologize. Uh, all right. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, I have to do something. Now that you're level three, uh, I do a d20 roll of my own. To see if we level automatically. What? What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> what? Huh? I'm so tired of this. <laughs> huh? This, these tricks. Hey, does this is this guy trying to kill us? <laughs> what? I'm just. Ooh, I'm ooh, just I having... gave myself inspiration because you all leveled up. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Uh, where? I have to find the table. One second. You don't. <laughs> I'm just trying to win. <laughs> Find the table. There we go. All right. Um, let me make sure I got this popped up. Sorry, I'm running a little slow today. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to roll a 1d20. Uh-huh. Whoo! All right, you're good. Nothing happens. Let's go to the uh, map. Um, okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, Love fuck that. you. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> All right. Fandolin, baby. Okay, so yeah, you're going to the... Where, where are you going? The... <laughs> Why are you pointing over there? Don't this worry. Looks like a lucky place. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't, don't worry that? about. Don't worry about that the place. That? Stop looking at places. Don't worry wait. about it. Yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. What's that? What, what is that? 
Hang on. That's what one of the other hardcore characters are kept. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror of dead man. <laughs> All right. Uh, so a couple of hours south. Oh yeah, it's literally just like one hex away. So you're you're barely traveling. You're like over here. All right. And then I I'm not I I I promise I'm not trying to be a tool. Uh, but I do have to make another d20 roll. So one second. Yeah. Okay. We, absurd. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's good. What the fuck? Why does it keep name, renaming your token? It really wants you to be crowned DM. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I don't know why I moved you to the map when I'm going to take you to another scene now. Emotion. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, so as you're kind of like arriving, uh, you're beginning. Uh, first of all, give me some. Give me, just give me a marching order. What marching order are you currently? Oh, in? you want us to give you a freaking perception check or two next? I mean, I did not. Or? I didn't ask for one, but you are free to give them if you'd like. Damn, and his silly little tricks. I'm not being be silly. silly. <laughs> I can I'll go be in the, the front. middle mirror back. <laughs> I can go at the front. I just don't have high perception if there's traps. Okay. I can take any hits in the front. Okay. So if we have I'll, someone uh, right behind me, uh, I, look. I will Baby. give I will give you a um a, a tip, I suppose, uh, as far as perception checks, especially within the hardcore game. Um, I will be using uh, wherever I possible your passive perception. If you guys aren't actively you asking me for a perception check. Um, so if a thing pops up, uh, it may pop up without me asking you for a perception check because that's something that you guys should be focusing on. Essentially, mm -hmm. if you're if you're trying to be cautious mm -hmm. and go places, just FYI. Who has a really high case. perception? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Minus. 10. I have a I have a plus two to my perception. I have a plus check. two as well. A, plus pa one. Uh, a cool passive perception of twelve. Same. Okay, that's better <laughs> than me though. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, no, hold on. Uh, I have uh, proficiency in it, so I have... Where do you see a passive? It's, is, is it proficiency adds to the passive, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it's your perception plus 10 if you're looking for like an off-the-cuff yeah, formula. Yeah, so I'm 13, so I should be at the front anyway. There you go. Perfect. I'll, uh, I'll go behind the uh, turd men, sort of keep our casters in the back. Okay. Oh, that works, yeah. <clears throat> nice. All right, so we got Turg up front. Uh, we got the we've got uh, is Veldrin uh, behind Turg? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, who's after Veldrin? I'm assuming Tommy. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. And oh, Sylvester. Yeah. Sylvester's never gonna be the fastest in the group. <laughs> <laughs> All Just right. Toddling along. As you guys are approaching, you're kind of going up this uh, this 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 quiet hill the serene hill uh the wind is sort of blowing through it looks like the land has barely been touched and as you uh ascend up this hill you will notice off into the horizon or coming up to you uh sooner rather than later uh this magnificent old windmill uh that's currently just kind of brushing through there um and as you are doing this, Turg, you'll sort of hear this off in the distance. You'll hear. <laughs> as this creature is like yelling off uh, in the distance. Can I roll some sort of check, like a nature check or something? To oh, absolutely. See if I recognize the sound. Absolutely. Which check would you prefer? Uh, you said nature, so nature's nature. fine. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see. Let's go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I know it's a growl. Uh, um, just... Yeah. Hey, uh, growl. The growl is is definitely heavy. Um, I can tell you uh, from what you're hearing, it doesn't sound to be uh, a creature of nature, but something far more abhorrent, uh, maybe a monstrosity of some kind. Okay. Hmm. It seems to be a bigger creature. I hit. So, it is a limit. It's probably the best way uh, to approach. Kind of big creature. Hey, I want to play about monster. 
Let's approach calmly. Yeah, I mean, like, like we come here, friend. Like we don't want to be seen immediately. Hey, so all well, sneaky. Oh. We can try to be. Oh yes. Okay. All right. For that, then, I'm going to need stealth checks from everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> That's a good one. Good one, Turg. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> mm, that flat 10. Mm, yummy. Mm. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. Thomas is, like, trying to sneak. Tin cans. <laughs> but he's also, like, skipping from stump to stump. He's not taking this seriously enough. <laughs> uh, Sylvester tries to hunch down for a second to be quiet. And instead, his fucking back cracks. And he kind of sits there like that for a little bit without moving. <laughs> moving <laughs> so as oh, no. as you're approaching up the hill, trying to your best to be as quiet as possible, uh, you will see once you cross over the horizon this large. Uh, monstrosity. So, this is what you see. I don't have the game paused for this. Uh, you'll see this oh. creature with a massive oh. uh, face of a, of a human and these needles and quills growing out of its mane and off of its tail and it seems to be scratching and clawing at the windmill door and its growls, you could just hear it just echoing into the hills, its head butting and scratching and clawing and you realize what this, this thing is trying to get to um, as the window opens uh, on the second floor and a <laughs> woman <laughs> will, no look, will look out <laughs> and she'll see she'll see you off in the distance and she'll just scream off the top of her lungs a little help and as she says that uh the creature which was facing over oh, here that piece of shit. looks oh, over I at you all and, go, and it just it just and just what? start it leaps off uh, oh, over shit. in your direction. <laughs> what is the what, are, what are, what's that? Who yelled? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, so with that, uh, the encounter will begin with the creature. Oh, what if I'm called this motherfucker? <laughs> oh, it's been a pleasure. All right. We begin the encounter. It's going to start with Turg. Turg, no. you're going to watch as this creature's clawing over towards you. Like, it looks like it's about to leap out from where it's at. Oh, if it looks like it's about to leap. Then I'm going to go 15 feet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my full movement just to try and lock it in place. Move forward, shield up, sword at the ready. And I'm going to take the dodge action. Excellent. Allow me to do that for you. So, by the way, uh, we are now using uh, uh, a modular called uh, Quality of Life Rolls. Uh, it is with the hopes that as I'm giving you uh, certain traits and things like that, or when you would have advantage or disadvantage to your rolls, uh, they will automatically be made as advantage or disadvantage. So you guys don't have to worry about remembering um, as okay. much anymore. Mm. So, oh, okay. so any, oh, <laughs> let's try to give it, and then it moved. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So any attacks made against her currently, um, should automatically be at a disadvantage. Sick. Disadvantage. Yes. Oh, cool. All right. Sylvester. This old lady needs, whoever this lady is inside this windmill better get on the fucking initiative. They better be doing something in there. I swear to God. Oh yeah. Sure. Stuff to throw from that sure, sure. 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 You, you know what? It's, uh. You know, it is your birthday, um, or was, or yes. wh whatever. Uh, so <laughs> yes. I'm gonna, I'll add her to the initiative. There you go. Oh God. All right, Sylvester <laughs> starts walking back. That's a big dog over there, and uh, then he is going to hang on. Quick. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have an Eldritch spear, so this fucking doesn't matter. I blast him <laughs> from here. Oh uh, right. Twenty-two. Uh, nice. Did you? 
How um how far did you get? Are you? I guess that is more than that is within the three hundred. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm one hundred and forty. <laughs> Excellent. Another double of this. Eight <laughs> points of damage to the creature. Uh, anything else? Uh, like any push effects or anything like that, uh, or no? No, it just does. It just does the damage in the reach. Okie dokie. Uh, so then, uh, next is uh, little Thomas. Uh, something's happening to the music. What oh, music? Stop. Yeah, it's yeah, music stops. I, I still like this team. It's what? still, it's still, yeah, music. yeah, it's still bopping. You might have to refresh. Yeah, whatever, whatever. That's fine. Uh, anyways, <laughs> did, you um, just, hey. did you just yeah, whatever, whatever? Be after you were wondering why something wasn't <laughs> I was, working. I was, I was, I was exp- I, all I was doing was expressing my concern. Understood. Um, <laughs> for the sake of the show, uh, uh-huh. I have a weird question. Yes. Um, doesn't. Okay, does it does a claw count as a weapon, like a melee weapon? Uh, or a it, tail? It, uh, yes. Yeah. So there are defined melee weapon attacks uh, and ranged weapon attacks. Interesting. So it doesn't have um, to be a weapon to be melee. For example, someone can punch you in the face, and that would count as a melee attack. No, 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 no. Does it count as a weapon attack? Oh, what a horrifying question. Uh, I, I, I believe has to say. Yes, it does. Um, yes, uh, it, any e, a, any uh, melee weapon it doesn't have to be a physical weapon. So yes. Okay, I'll remember that. Uh, <laughs> so, Thomas is gonna so threatening. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is gonna scurry, um, like 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 twenty five feet, uh, a little bit closer, and uh, die. Actually. No, he cast mage armor uh, on... Wait. No, I don't have mage armor prepped anymore. Whoa. No, I do because of the staff. Uh, okay. You're right. Okay, sorry. I'm finally catching up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my uh, I believe, and staff I believe, of defense. I believe we agreed already that you always have mage armor on in the beginning, right? Like that's, that. That's like okay, the safest okay. something. I just like... Length, so. Okay, sure. Yeah, is, so that's, it, that's is that that's okay or is that yeah, not? That's, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just oh. didn't want to like um, meta that game. Guy. No, you were uh, speaking of being that guy. Mm, cool. I'm um, gonna put you. Th- I'm gonna give you that charge back. Don't worry, is, and you still have your this, action. Don't worry. This is th- this is my third being that guy moment. I'm about to have in this round. It's okay. Um, I'm used to it. Trick? Go for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Um, my portent. Yes. Oh yeah. Can go I ahead. roll that? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, none, of, none of these were that guy, by the way. You're doing, you're doing great. Oh, okay, good. All right. <laughs> you're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. All right, I'm gonna roll two d twenty. Why don't you that use the button I made? Four. Why don't you use the button I made you? That's fine. Eight and four. <laughs> no, that's yeah. that guy. Four was good. I was that guy. That's being that guy. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> that's an example of that guy. All right, eight and a four. Okay, I'm ending turn now. Thanks. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, 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 this this woman who's looking out the window uh, will take the action to slam the window shut, and then that's her turn. So the Manticore. <laughs> yeah. The, she better know magic with a name like that. So this creature is going to, this magnificent creature is going to leap up into the air and take flight. And now I get to show you our first hardcore modifier of the campaign. The manticore stays up in the air until it is bloodied, or it is no longer has tail spikes. So this thing is you little shit. So this I'm gonna take you down. This thing is gonna be circling around you guys right now, just and that's what it does. It starts flinging tail spikes. Uh, So let me see. I love that, by the way, Joe. You little shit. What my magic jerk? Your your joke? No, no, no. I thought you you just being pissed. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm over it. I can kill it. Okay. If I check it looks here. at my two javelins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, as it's flying up into the air, it kind of does this huge leap. Uh, its tail just starts whipping around, and you kind of hear the sound of uh, what I could describe as like the rattle of a very loud snake. And as this rattle reverberates, it gets louder and louder. Uh, immediately, you'll see three of these spikes launch uh, out of its off its tail. I'll start with. Uh, we'll first start with Turg. That's multi attack. 
I'm by what? the way, a good tactic against this thing, by the way, guys, is end your turn lying down. <laughs> and that's the advantage. <laughs> that's, that's, that is a really brilliant... Oh. That is a really brilliant move. I'll have to delete. Apparently, this dice roller knows there's a wall and it's like, yeah, you can't do that. You can't attack with this uh, ranged weapon. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's going to be a miss. And it mm -hmm. automatically rolled the disadvantage. Oh, I love it. Okay. Next up is Tommy. Oh, uh, uh, I'm going to shield that. Understood. You spend your reaction to cast shield. Yep. Okay, excellent. Uh, so that your AC is now... What's your AC now? Uh, I think... Depends on... Okay, if I have my shield... and that, Wait, hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I cast shield and hold shield at the same time? Yes, that's how the spell works. Yeah, it's okay. active until your next turn. No, I mean hold a shield. Oh, I have yes, a shield. I believe I have so. A shield. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think shields actually uh, impede the shield spell. Okay, um, just a sec. Uh, cool. The thing about Thomas's AC is that it's sort of like uh, difficult to quantify by conventional means. Okay. What? It's what? um, <laughs> it, it's sort of ever changing because uh, of, because of his shield that he's holding. Because of the shield that he's holding, and because of mage armor, and because Do of shields. Yeah. So proficiency with shields. So if I have mage armor. Yeah. Uh, so your AC currently is a fifteen. This includes mage okay. armor because with mage armor, Wait. it it'll automatically check check your stat. So. Uh, let me just, yeah, I'll get through this real quick. So you have a 13 base because of mage armor, a plus one because of dexterity, and a plus one because of the staff that you're holding. So that's gonna right. give, so your AC is currently Hold a 15. Up. I yes. gotta What's be up? that guy. How's Tommy got shield proficiency? He, uh, I think wizards can carry a shield. I, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure, have, I'm, I'm looking at perfect. fighter and it says all armor and shield. That, so that actually dictate that you can carry. You do have to dictate that. Yeah, I don't know why I assumed. Uh, yes, you are not proficient with shields. Oh, really? Oh, mm -hmm. shit. I thought I asked that, but whatever. Uh, it's, it's cool. Either way, I'm casting shield, which, uh, assuming we just drop the, sh the shield, that'll bring my AC up to. Like, oh, you, you don't have, you don't have the shield on right now. Your, yeah. your 15 AC doesn't include the shield. Okay, I'm sorry. I got like two hours of sleep. Um, no, you're good. Really, you're good. Uh... So you're casting the shield spell, correct? Yeah. All right. So I will roll this just so we can all see. Uh, yeah, so now your AC is 20 until the uh, beginning of your next round. Yeah, yeah. That's all you I wanted to do. You fucking need the real shield. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and uh, the third tail spike will go over to Eldrin. Uh, also missing. Oh. <laughs> Breathe easy. I'm just uh, so I'm so afraid of projectiles. They uh, they wound my characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're just holding this thing in your chest. <laughs> um. Eldrin. Okay, first off, are these cairns? Are these like stacked stones? Yes. Can I use them as cover? Uh, yeah, they look large enough, yeah. Fantastic. But it also to... depends on what, air, how high he's in the air, this thing's in the air, because right now he's about 40 feet in the air. Perfect. We're so, going to yeah. bonus action dash. Okay. Using my, uh, using my... Cunning action? Cunning action. We're going to... Try to get behind this for some cover. Okay. We're going to peek out and take a shot at this lad if he's within 75. Perfect. We're going to take a shot at him with my light crossbow. Okay. Uh, an 11 will, it just bounces off his, it, like the 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 uh, the wing breath, the, the wind from his wings will just brush the bolt away as it's continuing to move over to you guys. Fantastic. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. Turg! Okay. I'm going to move forward as far as I can. Does it cost movement to fall prone? No. Okay. 
Uh, just, just a little dramatic. Uh, <laughs> get down, <Aww>. get down! <laughs> it's 35 feet. No, I'm going to be disadvantaged anyway. I don't have to do the projectory math. Uh, I'm going to do a disadvantage throw of my good old javelin. Pog. Uh, do you do features attacks? Oh, Javi. Uh, that will miss. Uh, same thing. You'll just kind of see its flapping wings just kind of brush it off to the side. Brett, I have to ask you, do you have a projector, a compass, and a calculator? <laughs> if I uh, was to throw a javelin, where would it land? Um, so <laughs> I, I, it's, it's literally going to land over here. Over here? Okay, okay. Just because I only have two of these things, I think I'm going to be playing no, I gotcha. collecting a throw it up game. Uh, and then I'm going to fall over. I'm going to go, and then just lie on my back with my shield up. That, so that, that <laughs> legs uh, up. Uh, uh, this circle right here will be that the uh, j where the javelin landed. Okay. You'd see Fantastic. his legs go inside his beard. <laughs> his legs lies there. <laughs> like a turtle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Sylvester. Sylvester's going to point at him. You need to get on down from there. And then Sylvester's going to shoot him at him again uh, for seven. Uh, that'll miss. Miss. Try to get farther away. <laughs> oh, and then right about here, he's going to trip and fall and go prone. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This manticore is like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm about to uh, eat all of you. <laughs> Uh, Tommy's going to raise his staff uh, and cast Magic Missile on the Manticore. Let's fucking go! Magic Missile, baby. All right. Uh, uh, so well, I have no available first love. Yes, I do. Oh, I think it's because of some spells collect. One second, please. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, you only cast one spell. Yeah. No, you didn't cast any spells. Sad. Hold up. Let me give you your spell slots back. I have to check one, and I have to check one quick thing. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay, there you go. You're you're down to seven charges with your staff of defense. Uh, mm -hmm. And yes, uh, so go ahead and click the spell once, and then uh, afterwards roll a two d four plus two. Um. Okay. That's and that's then... one missile goes up flying five points of damage. Massive. Two d four plus two. Uh, and then another two dealing deals another nine points of damage. And you'll kind of watch as this thing's just it like it's you like you just see these flash bangs just blasting off into the manic core's face and it's flapping around trying to keep its focus. Uh, Tommy sees what uh, um, uh, uh, Turg is doing and he goes like, huh! and he's gonna <laughs> lay belly down. In the <laughs> All right, you're going prone. Make sure I've got you selected. Oh, everyone's prone. I like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. He's the... hey, by the way, no, imagine no, I like this. That. Wait, hold on. That's not what I meant. I meant like, I like the tactics. Imagine <laughs> this perspective from the window. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's like just... little, like, groundhogs. Yeah, yeah. Whack-a-mole. She's, she's like, what are they doing? And then she sees the, the flash bag in front of the uh, manticore's face. She just dives down as well. <laughs> Uh, and nice. then she, she'll also uh, go prone. There we go. Perfect. All right. So this thing, uh, checking its hit points. Yep. Uh, as it's like flapping around, uh, it tries to like slowly recover against the blast of the magic missiles. Uh, it'll continue its movement and it'll move up another six, uh, 20 feet. As it continues in the air, it's kind of looking around at the nearest targets. Very good, everyone. Um, yeah, it's going to go for... We're going to do Turg, Tommy, and Sylvester for this one. All Not right. the old man, no! <laughs> hey, this Sylvester. dude's got Leave fucking no, 145 sorry, 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 not Sylvester. I apologize. I keep mixing up <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> And Veldrin. <laughs> I do like to think Veldrin goes, Sylvester, no! As a tail swipe goes in his direction. Uh, so first is Turg, second is Tommy, and third will be Veldrin. I'm just so worried for him. Every, any time the monster even looks in his general direction, I get worried. <laughs> he, like, crumbles a little bit. Uh, that's a critical miss. Mm. That's a 20. 
uh, on, on Tommy, on Tommy there. Uh, 20 will also meet if you do put up a shield, so. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, can, I can't. Down. Yeah, he takes it. He takes it right to the face. Oh, one second. Go on. uh, what? Let me just see if I when this triggers. Oh, well, no, I don't uh, want, no, I no. didn't want Turg to Don't take worry. the damage. I wanted Tommy to take the damage. Woohoo! Uh, eight points of damage. And uh, then finally, over at Veldrin. That's a 10. That misses. Yeah. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not prone. Okay. No, but I have half cover from the rock. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's why. I, that's why I gave the half. Okay, here <laughs> so good. best or no, the fucking spine <laughs> shatters <laughs> on the rock, and he goes, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit." Okay, so many buttons to press. All right, next up is Veldrin. Fantastic. Um, we're gonna try to be a little, little stinker. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna try and use this cairn as cover to try and stealth. Um to make ourselves a little less known. Okay, stink away. Uh, that will be a 12. Okay. Uh, I think, what kind of, to... Yeah, what kind of action is that? That's like bonus, right? That's or... my bonus action. Yeah. Using my cunning action. Cunning action, hoo-ha. Hoo-ha, So indeed. you're like, you're like trying to sneak in the grass yeah. right now. <laughs> sort of pushing my back up against another cairn. Um, oh, before ha. I make this shot, I need to know if he is aware of me. If my stealth beat his perception or passive perception. Ah, I will say. Uh, roll at advantage. Fantastic. Uh, that will hit and you can apply sneak attack now. There we go. Hey, four points of damage. Ooh, my sneak attack is All wrong. All right. Ooh, baby. Uh, my sneak attack is another D6. That's right. That's awesome. Right. Oh, you didn't roll the other D6? I thought that was it. That's eight for sneak attack. Yo. Damn. Damn. All right, All right another four. Uh, yeah. So the creature is bloodied, and on its next turn, it will land. Superb. Uh, that's my turn. All right, Turg. On my feet. <laughs> And then uh, I'm gonna use a bonus action to okay. call over to Tommy and be like, hey, okay, what the fuck? And uh, I roll a d8 and I'm gonna give him that much plus my charisma, which is what? one uh, temporary hit points. Ooh, Ooh battle master, no, baby. What the heck? Yeah, welcome to the rally. It's only, uh, yeah, that's only that's three. Okay. But it's, that's all right. It's, that's yeah, that's nice. You said three Thank plus you. eight. You you all no oh, no it's it was, already in there. Yeah, yeah, it's already calculated. Excellent. Uh, and then uh, on my feet, uh, I am going to move. Well, actually, I can't move that far. I can only move here because I've because I'm I'm a short man. I move here, <laughs> and then... By the way, crossing the uh, fence is a uh, double move across the space as you're lifting, leaping over yeah. the fence. <laughs> I'm going to walk up here. I'm going to put one leg on the fence to like, arch my back, back, back and throw a javelin into the sky. Uh, he's 60 yeah. feet up there, right? Nice. Yeah. Uh, he's 60 feet up, That's yes. That's a fucking pose, baby. God <laughs> yeah. damn. Uh, and it goes, it, goes, it goes like four feet over the, the fence and just lands on the other side. <laughs> Hold on, let me, uh, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and uh, let me get that javelin right where I want it to be real quick. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bad the leg up against the fence. Sylvester's going to kind of like roll a little bit away. <laughs> and then from the ground, I'll change you my Okay, so Sylvester, uh, that misses. Cool, I crawl on the ground. Uh, <laughs> you see the map I, order. I you just see it. nothing. You see nothing before you. The eternal darkness that's coming for us all. Oh. <laughs> All right. Tommy, Tommy rolls back onto his feet. Ow! 
And he's gonna cast uh, Enfeebling Ray. Let's go. It's Ooh. not in... Oh, Wait Ray of Enfeeblement. That's what, yeah, yeah, it, hold on. It's actually in my spells, but I can't cast it for some reason. Hey, you can. Oh, it's because um, it's not prepared. Not you didn't, never prepared. So uh, one of the oh. things you have to do is mouse over all of the little suns of the spells that you prepare, the suns that are next to there. And oh, that... okay. No, yep. you're right. This is why I'm getting confused is because I have like two different character sheets I'm looking at. Yeah, you're good. Um... He, he gives it a good old college try. Right, oh, concentrating. Wait, what? No, it's supposed to hit. It's supposed oh. to, it's a spell attack. Uh, is it trying to like target an area? It's trying to target uh, the... Oh yeah, no, so, yeah, select the mana core. It's I'm, asking you I'm what... Trying what... To, I'm trying to click it, nothing is happening. I don't oh. know what's going on with it's me all... today. Oh, oh, it's all, okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all, okay. no. Don't cry. Don't no. cry. No. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, no, please. Get in. Nothing is happening. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, mouse up to the left, um, and you will you'll see the select tokens that you've been selecting. There should be like a target reticle underneath that. Select that, and then click. It. Yes, you have now targeted the mana core. You have no available second. <laughs> Oh, it's because you you literally just cast the spell twice and it didn't work. It just used the slot. Okay, now try again. I gave you the spell slots back. Now try again. Oh my again. god. Ah, uh, get together. <laughs> what oh the my god. What the fuck is happening? Okay, hold on. I'll, They're I'll, blubbering. This is the worst I've ever fucking seen. I'll do it. it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it, he says. <laughs> Give me your character I sheet. Just I just want to enable it. I know. I, I know. It honestly probably isn't even going to hit because I only have a plus three to hit. We'll see, though. We'll oh, I see. I, I think it's uh, I think it's broken. That's why. Oh, That's what happened there. It's a, thank it's... fucking God, dude. I, yeah. thought my, I thought I was broken. No, no, buddy. Well. No, but no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll judge that after the uh, possible miss here on the spell. Okay. All right. See. I'm gonna, see. I'm gonna delete that spell. I'm gonna re-enable that spell. Okay. I'm gonna do this, and then we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. If this doesn't work. Okay. So I have to do this the old-fashioned way because it, it's not doing that. Okay. All right. So. Uh, so, I'm so sorry. Go ahead and, uh, I look down, <laughs> holding my hands. How long has it been? Uh, can you please roll, uh, a proficient, uh, intelligence check, please? Roll an intelligence check? Yeah, so 1d20 okay. plus, uh, 3. That's All right, a that's five. a 5. That awesome. misses. That misses. The raven Aww. feeblement goes off. <laughs> oh, it got... slumps back into the dirt. Yeah. Oh, let, me, <laughs> let me just try one more thing. Let me just try one more thing. Uh, yeah, not working. Okay. All right. Anyways, uh, so <sighs> uh, passing it over to the mana core. Here we go. Uh, this thing begins its uh, descent. And it's like it's looking like it's about to land right on Turg. Hey, got it! All right, so if it's descend, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. So it'll just <laughs> as it lands uh, on the ground right next to Turg, its tail whipping around. Uh, no more cheap tactics with uh, with tail spikes. It's just gonna go all in uh, on this attack hey, against Turg. Bastard. Ooh, that's even worse. Yeah, here we <laughs> go. All right, uh, I'm going to make one bite and two claws. Let's begin. That's a miss. Blink. That oh. is a miss. Oh. And that's a miss. Oh, that's his whole Jesus. All right. I like the old boss one. Okay, uh, same tactic as before. Oh, I targeted myself, Lamau. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, there it is. Uh, so, same tactic as before. We are going to move 
uh, sort of move our way up. We're going to try to bonus action hide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take a shot at it. Okay. Uh, at advantage. If you are within range. I am. Excellent. Uh, 14 will hit for 10 points of damage. Oh my God. Is that the is that the correct one? The correct number? Yes. Oh. I added my other D6. Yeah, uh, Turk, you'll just sort of watch as this thing just hits the side of the manticore and it just shakes its head. Blood is oozing from the wound that stabbed right in its forehead. Uh, fantastic, that's my turn. All right, Turg. Hey, I'm gonna draw my sword. And I, I, no one's close to do a flank soon, so I'm just gonna hit him from here. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, well, I'll move up a little bit. I'll go around him a little bit. Okay, it's a little dozy do. okay. A little movie move. Uh, <laughs> With that famous then... 25 feet dwarf movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just sidestepping. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, big old talon swing. Oh, shit! Oh, baby! Nice. Damn! It's still <laughs> standing, shit. but barely. Hey, And then, uh, action throw! Yeah, baby! Let's, let's go. fucking go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. How do you dispatch with the manticore? Dude, yeah. just... One slice, and he... <laughs> He's gonna think he's running up the side of its arm to stab it in the head, but he like starts slipping halfway through and just stabs it straight through like a shoulder tendon. It goes really deep. <laughs> and just kind of collapses off and falls off. But from this perspective, it looks cool. Congratulations, you have defeated the Manicor. Look around. Don't see Sylvester for a moment. <laughs> oh. he's, he's, he? by, he's by the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> The infinite <laughs> beyond. Uh, are you alright? Dude, Turk, you slayed the beast! What? Ah, good, you're boy, for this guy. If it's not that right, we're near, Tony. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. That was a nasty dog. Uh, indeed, it was. The nastiest. You'll, you'll well done, everyone. You'll hear the uh, the door open as this woman will come running out. Oh, you slayed that awful beast! She's apparently like climbing because of the flashbang. Uh, she she gets back up uh, and she, she just kind of walks over. Uh, you slayed that that absolute brute! Uh, thank you so much. Hey. I oh, whose javelins are those? Anyways, why was I trying to kill you? Why <laughs> <laughs> Why she reminded me? I'm, 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 uh, I'm sorry, young man. Well, why was she, why was she trying to kill you? Why does any monster try to kill anybody? Well, yeah, but I, like, really had it out for you. I, I, I know, I'm a tasty treat. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh. You must be a dobra. Uh, I Are am. Are also a baker? <laughs> oh, I do tend to dabble, yes. A loaf here and there, although it is my bruise that everyone fares. I bet Alchemy's a lot like baking. Let's turn him to a witcher for a second. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Cybadapra. A, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'm so thankful you came along when you did, but uh, why did you come along when you did? Well, uh, I'm glad that we were able to show up when we did. Uh, we're here to beseech you to return to Fandolin. By any means necessary. <laughs> what? She raises an eyebrow. I mean, what? The town master has been requesting you, and as you can see... Oh, she rolls her eyes and says, no, thank you. I, I'm what? aware, but <laughs> the people of Fandolin need your aid. I, I, I understand that, but uh, Harbin's a fool, and as long as that he is town master, uh, then this is where I'll stay. There's been a turn of form, so to speak. We've routed the Redbrands, and there's the constable in town now. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. What do you need me for, then? Your alchemy. Oh, so this wasn't just uh, hope and see that an old uh, 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 Fandolin member was okay. He needs something from me. 
right. so to speak. I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's not the only one. The Lord's Alliance is also in need of you. Oh, well, are they now? <laughs> so it's going to like lean over the fence. And uh, the, the four of you are from the Lord's Alliance? I am a, a, a member. Uh, my name is Belgian. This here is Turg, hey. Tommy, and Sylvester. Mm. They are my Hello. companions. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, tell me, young man, and she'll just turn directly to Tommy. As a non-member of the Lord's Alliance, why would you say I am needed back so, so bad? Um, I've got to be honest. I thought we'd just tell you and you'd do it. Oh. I thought it would be easier. <laughs> I thought it would be easier. You would um, just tell me to get up and move on the, the command of a of a greedy town master and I would just do it? She raises well, her eyebrow. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, um, we're selfish too. We kind of just uh, wanted your skills for ourselves. Oh, well, <laughs> dear. The really, the town master had nothing to do with it. He offered a little bit of money on your head, but... <laughs> I don't even know who she the town master is. She holds her neck. Am I allowed to say that? No. Mm -hmm. no. Yes. No. Oh, oh no. Tell me. Adabra, he means well. He doesn't mean that you have a bounty on your head. Oh. The town master is paying for your return. You're safe oh. by any means necessary. I, uh. I, I, I see. I see what you're saying now. I was about to say I didn't realize uh, Halbin had gotten so uh, so violent and my mother would even allow such a thing. Are you friends with my mother? Um, Who is your mother? Who? Uh, but, uh, her name is uh, um, Lenine Greywind. Uh, she <laughs> runs the, uh, the Lion. The Lion Shield Custer. Oh. Uh, you are familiar with my mother. I've done a fair bit of work for your mother. She doesn't like me very much. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, I promise you very, very, very much that if I like you, my mother loves you just for who you are. She's the official she author of that character. Me. She? Yes, she, she is. is. She, <laughs> <shot>. she <laughs> is. No way. Yes, oh, she is. Sense. The moment I saw her, I went, this motherfucker. <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, and yes, Adabra originally was not the daughter of Lenin Greywind, but I made her that so I could use this art. That's good. I like it. It's good flavor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, I promise you, dear. Now, without this messy business, since you do know my mother, you know that Fandlin is in good hands. Uh, they don't need me to help them out. My mother will make sure everything is good. Even if Harbin is at the wheel of the carriage because there's no cars in this world, I will be sure that uh, my mother will take care of everything. Now, for what you said, young man, you mentioned being um, selfish, correct? Yeah, well, see... Uh, nobody else in town can brew potions. And we're about to raid a castle. Hey, oh dear. Well, what? well, if you, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if you're about to do something so dangerous, and you're able to handle this beast very quick, I'd be happy to honor my services. You know where I live. You're free to come here at any time, and I would be happy uh, to sell you uh, some potions. Oh, um, by the way, as a way of thanks, and then she'll uh, reach out to grab a healing potion. Uh, and hand it over to Turg. Hey. Just pause it back to Tommy. Uh, oh. I've On the house for everything that you've done. I'm certain hey. you've seen Cryovain, the white dragon. What? She says, looks over at you. <laughs> You're not worried about being out here by yourself. Yes. What the white... course will be the least of your problems. What white dragon? There's a horrifying dragon. You, in these parts. You came to me with the intent to persuade me to come back to Fandolin, and you wouldn't even think to bring up that there's a white dragon just flying around here, the Sword Coast? Flying around. Way in. We assumed you'd have seen it as well. No, I'm busy in the windmill, she says as she points over there. Well, oh, my yeah. apologies. Awful lot of big flying things around this county. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Yeah, that's, 
Uh, perhaps I'll move some other time, but uh, I, I'm in the middle of a, uh, important research. Uh, dragon or no? Uh, I'm sure I'll be fine, and especially if... Uh, no. no. Me, I was going to get threatened to as well about thing. What? <laughs> she says that she looks over at you. I thought I was going to come down and tell me that thing. Dear, you have something in your throat. No, so you he can... is, I, no he's mad. You're going to try to eat that thing. Oh! Oh! Uh, well, uh, yes, actually. That would be better than rotting in my yard. Oh. No, I uh, promise you that I will be perfectly fine here. I was doing a little bit of alchemy that may have attracted a minor monstrosity. She looks over, grimacing at the dead manticore, looks back over at the party. So I'll be more cautious, especially if you're about to become uh, customers of mine to purchase healing potions. Yep. And you'll be returning anyway, so uh, uh, thank you, but I'll take my chances out here than dealing with Harbin. There's nothing we can do to persuade you to come back. I'm afraid not. I don't know if my legs are going to be able to handle another trip up here. <clears throat> oh, well, um, I mean, that's, I don't have a plentiful supply of potions, obviously. Um, it does take uh, quite a bit of time to brew, but I, I do have five available for sale. And I don't believe uh, it'll, be t it'll take me some time to replenish more. Hmm? Oh, for each potion? Uh, I'll yeah. sell it to you market value. 50 gold a piece. I already gave you the one for free. Yeah. And me 250 gold. I'll happily hand you the potions and uh, you can come up and see me uh, when you need to. I should probably have another potion ready in, uh, in this case, probably a month. Does, does that mean we failed? Is the town master going to be mad at us? I, I don't really care if Harbin's mad at us, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't it... know who Harbin is. He's, <laughs> he's a, a town master. <laughs> and it's all right, Sylvester. It's okay. As long as you're all right. I'm going to hand it 50 gold. <laughs> is, 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 oh wait, is Veltrin assayed that as long as you're all right to Sylvester? Or it's... Yeah, Sylvester. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I doubt we're still going to take it and be like, oh, thank you, dear. I'll be fine. Fellas, I have almost 300 gold. So. I have. I was going to buy all of them. I have 433 I'm willing gold. to pitch in ah. some as well. Uh, Turg has... I don't mind throwing in a 50. Uh, Turg has bought one of them. I'll hey. buy one. I'll also buy one. I'll Excellent. buy one as well. Excellent. Now this is adventure right here. Mm. Uh, 383. It's not like I need to buy anything else. It's a fucking cloth-wearing warlock. <laughs> with no, no weapon proficiencies. Same. <laughs> All right, Tommy will also buy one. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure that you. Oh my God, everyone's got so many healing potions on them. This is great. Mm hmm. You ready? Yeah. We're we're set up. Um, Tommy has three now. You guys have two, and Sylvester. Uh, this is Sylvester's first one. You decided oh, yeah. not to give him a potion, because he's never gonna need a potion. The wind will. The wind will take him. <laughs> Every gust, Sylvester <laughs> buckles a little more. <laughs> <laughs> the hip clicks back into place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, with one more potion to spare, um, who will purchase the last potion for the season? I'll uh, I'll buy another one for Sylvester just so we can have it. Okay, so Aww. thank three, you. Three hundred and thirty-three. You drink that in emergency, so fast. <laughs> Healthcare is expensive. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, dear. So, um, yes. Uh, if you would like to come in, oh, you know, if you come back in a ten day, I should have another potion ready for you. You make that uh, poison. What? <laughs> make that a poison? Uh, no, do you make all of them? No, dear, I, I don't practice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> practice. <laughs> dear. Oh, my. <laughs> Chill. Uh, I wish you well and tell Hobbin to, you know, fuck off. And then she'll go back in and close the door. Um, well, that was quick. Let's go kill a bunch of you. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's the confidence I want, baby. <laughs> You got a list of things you want to do. You're like, fancy. Let's just uh, get it all done right now. Yeah, I feel like we technically failed that one. So if we could go succeed on a short one, maybe, maybe it'll raise our morale. I. I'll say it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Whatever it is, we do it. We're we so dumb, dumb, dude. <laughs> I love it. What are you talking about? That was the We're best result. Die. <laughs> no, I don't think you're going to die, but I no, do have to roll a 1d20 before you leave. One second. Okay. Let's. Oh, God. That's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, no, that was, a, whew, that, was a, that was a close one, but we're good. We're good. We're real, uh, real good. <laughs> Here we go. I, I doubt it had anything on it. Is it possible to search the manticore? Uh, yeah, if you spend some time uh, with the Manticore, uh, you wouldn't discover. He's down to spend a little bit of time. I just want to see yeah. if it has we could, we could take a short yeah. rest out there, probably. Yeah. If right? we're going to take a short rest, that's Oh, okay. I'll get my action surge back to when we get to On the, the lawn of, yeah. <laughs> of this lady's house. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be useful. Let me see that. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a, uh, we're spending an hour here doing a, a little bit of a short rest. Uh, yeah. yeah. While that short rest is happening, Sylvester is going to be uh, taking a slight nap and also seemingly mumbling a ch or channeling some kind of spell in his sleep unconsciously. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, <no. laughs> oh. Okay. I think he's so old that he falls asleep in short rests. <laughs> is, it, is it like a guttural <laughs> sound? Like he just, like, breath. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a short rest for Sylvester. Woo! I, I just got four stress. That's, uh... <laughs> and when the short rest ends, Sylvester yeah. is going to cast Find Familiar and create an imp. Whoa! Oh. Yes! Ooh. A little guy! A little, a little bean. Hold on, yes. I'm trying to roll 1d6. Oh, okay. Nice! Okay. okay. Oh, you're spending a hit die? How much yeah, damage do you take? Okay. And, but you completed your short rest? Eight. Yes, you did. Excellent. Perfect. You still keep the temporary hit points as far as I'm aware, by the way. Uh, yeah, unless there is a time on the temporary hit points, you keep them until, I think, a long rest. Yeah, I'm looking now. There's no worries. If there's, if there's no duration, you just, you just got them. <laughs> Steven, is that you? No, this is, this is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I Give me this one. is my grandson, Michael. I thought his name was Stephen. No, oh, that's my other grandson, Stephen. <laughs> um, it's nice to meet you, Michael. He holds out his hand, like, well, to, like, like for a cat to sniff. Will you be role playing, Michael, or will I be role playing? Oh, Michael? you can have it if you uh, want. <laughs> uh, Michael just looks around, confused, and is just, <laughs> just kind of, just. Looking around, it just doesn't know. It's Michael's mm. slow. He doesn't mm. seem very social. <laughs> just looking around a little bit, scratches his little head, and it looks up at Sylvester and just stares on. And it just sighs. Hello there, Michael. It sighs a little bit, and it kind of slumps his back, realizing it is once again time to serve. Oh no. Damn. Oh, <laughs> Anyways. No. Oh. <laughs> well, send him back to the hells. <laughs> you need to go fight in the blood war, brother. Aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me one. I'm making a quick imp token. Do, 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 do. Oh, bird. That's not the imp token I'm making. <laughs> I just get an invoice. I was like, no! <laughs> it, w it wasn't for my real. money! <laughs> my money! It just vanishes. I'm nothing without my money! Ooh, how to bankrupt your DM? Uh, take spell, find familiar. Import. And then have <laughs> just a bunch of familiars, <laughs> depending. You know, my 10 detailed. Damn. Complete. And 
update. Making sure he is definitely imp size. He is. Then. I will name him Michael. I will name him Michael. And now. Baby boy. I will configure ownership to tomato. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's how we do it. Oh my god, there's a little guy. <laughs> oh, 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 you got like a little goatee going on. Oh my god. Oh, crazy. <laughs> oh, did she say hello, Michael? Yeah. Hello, Michael. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Michael. <sighs> All right, so uh, where are you guys heading next? I guess we're going to go back to Fandolin and talk to Sister uh, Garel about uh, Tommy's Banshee quest. We got this. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Because yeah, Tommy would have had to have been the one to tell us. <laughs> that's that's right. I also, yeah, I think the silver home is still in the, like, uh, party inventory in the inn. Uh, yeah, let me I check. Think, I think I gave it to you, but I will... Uh, I mean, it's not in my inventory, so... Then I didn't give it to you. Oh, that's all right. So, well, uh, yeah, so anyways, yeah, you would you would have the, uh, the comb on your person. Okay. Um, but yeah, so how, um, how would that go about? So you would just kind of, like, go over and just be reminded of all the details? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that would that would take place. And she would explain everything to you uh, back in the details about the the banshee. Uh, she wants to know where the spell book is. She hopes that you would be able to uh, appeal to her sense of like vanity and 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 being pretty and all that and just hand her a comb um so that she can answer this question for you. And then she, I believe, will reward you. Did I say three healing potions? Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, if you come back, she'll happily give you the three healing potions. If. If you come back, yes, of course. Mm. And she, she'll she yeah. even say, she, she, she'll be like, I thought, I thought the comb was gone. It's been so long. Oh, I'm happy to see that it's still within your possession. And then uh, with that, yeah, you'd be instru uh, instructed where you'd be able to find the banshee. Okay. Uh, is it like how? Oh God! Did we ever learn the location's name? Uh, is it like here in Fandolin? Like in no, Thunder no, Tree, no. It, it'll be someplace you will have to uh, travel. Um, specifically, oh. yeah. So specifically, uh, it's going to be in uh, the ruins of Conbury, uh, where oh, Agatha's oh, lair Jesus. is. Conbury. We're going back to the Tribor. That is correct. Oh boy. Bruh, I don't even know where this. Oh, wow, that's out there. Maybe we'll right. see a giant fucking castle on the path as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. We'll see some little goblins. <laughs> so Conberry's over here, and Thunder Tree is over here. So no matter where you're going, you're gonna be traveling. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so to look up so much stuff. Let's get this banshee one over with, all right? Come on. Do we actually, do we want to? It's up to you yeah. guys. I, yeah. I feel like right. it wouldn't be. No, I mean, did, for sure, for sure. Did Sister Garel tell us, aside from her, this banshee being very vain, mm -hmm. did she give us any other warnings, anything like that? Um, Not really. She just believes you'll be able to, if you give her the gift, um, she should answer the question. She would do it herself, but she just doesn't have the time. All right. If we're going to be speaking to an incorporeal undead, perhaps it's best if we exercise a bit of caution. Eh? Mm -hmm. Callum Vore's teachings about the dead are those that are here still should be treated with respect, but exercised eventually. That's be mindful of how we talk to this thing. Uh, I should probably stay near the back then. Okay. I got a big mouth on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I, I've also got a stomach. big scar on me. Well, yes. I could do the talking if we need to talk. 
Um. I, mm-hmm. I agree. Whoever it is I'm talking to. Uh, walk with me back, back behind them, Sylvester. <laughs> Are you familiar with what a banshee is? Hmm. Explain it again. <laughs> Banshees are, are incorporeal and dead. They're um, they're they're sort of wayward spirits left over. They have a bit of a mean streak from time mm. to time. I'm not too familiar with them. I've not practiced much in the way of my faith to Kelimvor, but I've heard of their teachings at uh, amongst other clerics. So, how do we enter as a cotton? Hey, well, Turg. Hey. Where, where's your rations? At home. <laughs> well, well, yes, well uh, as you travel along the Trebor <laughs> Trail, uh, day passes and you will remember uh, that you left your rations at home. We so, all go to set up camp and we all, we're all pulling out our little lunch boxes. <laughs> We look over at him. Where's your food? Uh, uh, yeah, can I try and hunt for some food? Uh, you absolutely can with a survival check. Okay. I was, just, I was staring I'm... at Turg's sheet for so long. I was like, where? Where is his food? <laughs> Although you guys should probably try doing a survival before you eat your rations, right? Just in case you get free food for the day. Yeah, but it's already been taken out of my inventory, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, enough. Uh, but next time I'll try to remember. Yeah, uh, Turg, you would uh, find yourself uh, enough food and forage and cook to uh, keep yourself fed for the day. <laughs> but perhaps well, next time we bring your rations with us, just in case. Yeah, I have to make two rolls. Either way, I'm not too afraid of talking to any undead. I'm going to be dead soon, too. Hey. Soon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, go on. I mean, I understand, but I, I would like to at least keep you safe until you, you meet the Lord of the Dead. I like him by chance, but why have you always got boy gray on? All right. I'm just worried she might be kind of mean. That's all. Well... Even if she's mean, it'd be wise to practice some tact. Take it on the chin. Well, what do I have to do again? You're just... <laughs> <laughs> huh, okay. Let's walk it through one more time. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Sister Gorel told us about a banshee named... Michael, write all this down. <laughs> Pulls out a little pen and starts writing Agatha. it. We're going to be bringing her a silver comb in a hope that she'll guide us or direct us towards an old spell book that Sister Gorel wants. You need to sort of play into her vanity and be nice. Ask her to be very respectful. Talk to her as if she was still living. All right. I'm sat behind, uh, beside Michael, like stroking his head. <laughs> Just, yeah, he's just sitting there. He's just, it's just looking. He just sits there as he's writing. He's writing all these notes, and he just is now getting pet. And it's just like shrugs. So all I do is I be real nice to this banshee. I give him the comb, and then I ask about the spell book. Correct. All right. Maybe don't be so direct. We want to win her over. Hundred percent before we ask about the spell book. All right. All right. Let's get some rest. Uh, I'll take first watch. <laughs> Who's got the Actually, first watch? <laughs> I will take last two watches because I only need four hours. I'm going to reverie. Mm. Oh, it's so cool that Sylvester was close to doing something with his life in this session, and now I'm gonna die doing the D100 roll. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh, oh no. fuck! We're gonna wake up and he's just a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael's I'll do gone. First watch. <laughs> All right. I can do first watch. Okay. 
Who's doing second watch? I think Veldrin said he was. The last I'm two? I'm taking the last two watches. Okay, mm. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, that'll definitely be enough. All right, here we go. First, I'm going to make a roll. Okay. Uh, the evening passes uneventful. <laughs> or, or, so, or so we thought. Oh! oh. Now, it's, okay. now it's a two. Yes. Very good. Live it, live it on the freaking edge. Okay, let me go ahead and long rest everyone. Woo! It's a new day. Long rest. New day. Wow. Portent. Portent. I'm doing my portent. Ooh! Yo! Ooh, that's a huge Yo, that's portent. big. No, what the hell? So okay. you're, you're just you're just holding on to a twenty. Uh huh. Didn't yeah. have a chance to use them last time. Damn. Yeah, you got to use them fast because oh. they kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I guess I was I'm... expecting us to do more that day. Yeah. That's right. I mean, sometimes this, this you might time, just though. burn through right. portents. Yeah, we'll see. Like, what what uh what were you saying, Joe? I was just saying uh, th this day you're gonna have a great use of it. Oh yeah, because you can turn any hit into a twenty. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you will. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. You're gonna arrive over at Conberry uh, at the end of your travels, and this is going to be uh, in the evening. So at the end of the day, uh, you will arrive uh, over at Conberry. Uh, will you handle your business in Conberry now? Um, or will you take a long rest first? Um, how close are we to threatening, uh, like, exhaustion? Do we have a couple hours left in us still, or? Um, actually, let me, let me check here. So if it's eight, uh, so every file. Oh, yeah, you travel at 40, so it'd be eight, eight. So, five, oh, no, yeah, you have time. You have, you have plenty of time. Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's just go into town. If we're all freshened yeah. up, we're so good to go. All right. Yep. Yeah. So now I, I've never been along this portion of the tribal, so I have no idea what's waiting for us. Let's be cautious. Okay. That's not only right. do we have, not only do we have cry, uh, cryovane still running along the mountains, who knows however many goblins or whatever else are out here. Hey. All right. Okay. Uh, ba -ba. Let's do it. I'm just say your D20s you've been rolling, the amount that have been like over 15 or like mm -hmm. even over 10 is crazy. I don't, have you rolled under 10 yet? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. There's two. Oh, there's sorry, there, yeah. right now. There's two checks I'm making uh, as you mm. continue to travel on. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. But yeah, so it's, it's, if, I, um, if I'm rolling a lot, that's why. There's multiple things happening in the background currently. Okay, so. Ah, here we are. Mm. We'll arrive in the uh, the ruins. I make Gotta make sure that's hidden there. All on right. the way to the ruins, I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Sounds good. Oh... And mage armor, etc. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. There's now 10 temp HP. I've got yeah. 26 HP. God Ooh. damn. The tank. Damn. Welcome to my world, my friend. Um. So, yeah, as you're approaching, you're kind of looking around this sort of quiet and desolate town or the ruins of this town. It's. It's, there's no one here. There's not a, a single living soul. This town is quite literally ruins um, until you kind of arrive deeper within. And as you sort of approach, let me just see here. <clears throat> the forest grows dark and still as the trail winds deeper into the trees. Heavy vines and thick layers of moss drape over the branches and the air is noticeably colder than it was in the ruined village. Rounding a bend in the trail, you see a screen made from the warped branches of trees standing close together, woven into a dome-like shelter uh, in the shadows. A low doorway leads inside. 
and then uh this yeah so and that's that's kind of where you are now you're kind of seeing this old building inside so it's up to you what you guys would like to do oh my god <gasps> i couldn't right. see the building because i feel like i was being blocked by tom <laughs> <laughs> uh i want to pass the comb off to uh I guess whoever is going to be doing most of the talking. Are you um, ready, Sylvester? Mm-hmm. Yep. Tell me. The comb. All right. I bestow upon you the silver comb. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. We're right beside you. I... You do remember what we're doing. Yes, we are here to... We're here, We're just, here to no. I love you. Give me, give me uh, a second. <laughs> just give me a second, <laughs> Michael. The notes. Uh, yeah, Michael's gonna hand you the piece of paper. We are here to give a silver comb to a banshee, a creature of the undead, whom I will be. Michael, what is this handwriting? Shrugs. <laughs> Whom I will be speaking to in a very kind and friendly way. And then once I've given them the comb, I will ask them for the location of a magical tome. Ask them. Well, I mean, I think Tom is right. Maybe, maybe we're nice. You're nice to them. You speak very kindly to them. And then offer them the comb, and then ask if you can learn anything from them. Learn anything like you're... from them regarding the tome, or uh, just anything? See, I want to say use your best judgment, but undead I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna ask them about the tome. Hey. All right. <laughs> it was my best judgment. What are we even here for if not for the tome then? <laughs> I'm, right, like, I'm liking sassy grandpa. I only have two more days to live. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I need to refresh. No worries. Mm. Let me know when you're back in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, um, I should have done this while you were doing all that. I actually can't select my token, though. That was why I refreshed. Oh, uh, let me just uh, annihilate you and then oh, ah! <laughs> bring everyone back in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yes. Do we have the name of this banshee? Yes. Uh, Sister Burrell told us her name is Agatha. Agatha. Let me know if it's working now. Um, boss, it's not. Well, no, wait, hold on. I think you just happened to move him at the same time as I was moving him. I did. No, it's not. Uh, okay, give me one second. I'll check something else. Bro, I don't know what's going on <laughs> today with me, my icon, <laughs> and stuff specifically. I'll be right back. Mm. Well, how about we all take a break? How's that sound? I think okay, I Okay, fair enough. I, I also fixed your token, right. by the way. Uh, oh, try uh, did you? Uh, hold on. You did. Wait. And, and then I annihilated you. I know. Oh, no. And then I brought you back. You're good. Uh, 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 again. Uh, uh, move. It's, it's move a again. roller coaster out there. here. Now I pause. I freeze time. I suspend everyone. Uh, all right. We'll be, uh, we'll be right back. Yep. Okay.
And we back. We back, we back, we back. Welcome back, Brett. Hey, welcome back, everyone else. Nice. So, uh, as uh, mentioned, yeah, you are about to approach inside the, uh, this, this building. Uh, the stage is yours. We are, uh, we're following close behind Sylvester. All right. Yes, where's Michael? Oh, God, I extinguished Michael. Oh, no. I forgot he existed. Back to the blood war. Michael has returned. Very good. How long? Uh, we should probably knock first. Is this door open right now? Yes, it is. No. Oh. Sylvester closes his side, <laughs> nods at Tommy, and then knocks on the closed Go door. That's good. That's good. All Hello. Right. As you knock at the door, the following happens. The air grows cold and a powerful feeling of dread grips you. A cold, pale light flickers in the air, rapidly taking on the form of a female elf. All right. Doo, doo, doo. Press button. There we go. So, yeah, you'll, you'll see this sort of specter kind of like begins to like wisp uh, into your view kind of from around the door looking over at you. Uh, her hair and robes waving in a spectral wind. She might have been beautiful once, but a hateful expression twists her features now. Foolish mortals! She <laughs> snarls. What do you want here? Do you not know it is death? To seek me out? Oh, hello. Hello there. Uh, my name is... Do you mind if I open the door a little bit so I can get a better look at you? She's staring at you. Uh, does not respond. Why, hello there, young lady. My Hi. name is Sylvester. She looks down over at you. I will say it again. What do you want? Well, I was... Seeking out some information and heard you may be able to help me. Why, you are quite a looker. It's somewhat... <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester can't see anything through his glasses. They've never been very good. You're doing He's... great. Keep it up. Thank you, Stephen. I wanted to give you this. Sylvester takes out the comb. Mm. Let me see here. Do, do, do. So looking around, looking around. This is the comb that killed me. <laughs> that you must die. Uh, actually, let me see something real quick. Is there a chance Sylvester can romance the banshee? <laughs> God, I hope. So. Oh, okay. So she'll look over. She'll look over at the comb and she'll like motion it over to the ground in front of you. Mm -hmm. Sylvester's going to try to uh, put it on the ground uh, <laughs> in front of him. Oh, and then he's going to just hand it to Michael. And have Michael do it. <laughs> It'll float up in the air with her with her grasp over it. And then she'll just kind of look, look on and stare over at you. And then she'll smile with cold amusement. Very well. I know that you seek many things. Ask me one question, and I will give you an answer. Mm -hmm. So she knows many things. You can ask her anything. Ask her six plus six. No. <laughs> uh -uh. Fourteen. And then she shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things she did not know. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible at math. Do you know of the location 
of a spell book belonging to. So I'm going to look at the others. Oh, oh gentle. Bow gentle. Hmm. And she uh, nods. I know of this book. And she will follow up with. I traded the book to a necromancer named Cernoth from the city of Erebor more than a hundred years ago. I do not know what came of the, became of the book afterwards, though. Hmm. Sorry, she said she... Wait, 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 wait. She said she traded it? Yep. Hundreds of years ago. To a necromancer. <laughs> Oh, of course, of course, of course. She is a man. She's uh, undead, of course. Uh, give me one moment. I need to update my notes. Oh, shoot, we just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not a hundred years ago, chat. Hundreds of years ago. That's even worse. Oh, no. We should have traveled here faster. Oh, more no. more than a hundred years ago, yeah. I should have asked that for more questions. To... She said a, she openly said a necromancer? Yep, a necromancer named Cernoth, the T is silent, T-S-E-R-N-O-T-H, a Cernoth from the city of Erebor more than a hundred years ago. Well. Well, it's fucked. <laughs> right, <laughs> witch. Sorry. I'm sorry about them. The deal has concluded. And then her and the comb mm -hmm. disappear. <laughs> well, no. You have a good night now. What a nice young lady. Hey. Fantastic job, Sylvester. Well done. <laughs> it's Feltrin <laughs> like Steve. <laughs> oh, uh, I just yeah, totally I mean, realized this all sounds like you guys are over two on quests. There's a, there was a, the, his whole body had been tense the entire time. Seeing a banshee in person is not like a small thing, uh, especially, especially as a worshiper of Kelimbor. So seeing a banshee, he was, a, he was ready to throw out all of the elven practice that he knows, bowing, speaking in elven, all that stuff. And then Sylvester fucking nails the conversation. No issues. And he's just like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh, we don't have to be here anymore. Hey, we succeeded the cross oh. there. We, no, I said no, we didn't. Indeed, that's a, another quest completed. Well done. Right. <laughs> Tommy's disillusioned. Oh. What? If there's I not blood you... spilled, <laughs> Tommy hates <laughs> Why are you upset? Because... Because they're never going to be able to find that spell book. It was bought hundreds of years ago. That's us. Uh, they could probably still find it. Hey. Oh. I mean, we have no way of knowing that. Hmm. Hey. Oh, have I... How common knowledge is the city of Erebor? Um, you can go ahead and make a history check if you want. Okay. Erebor, also known as the Overland City and the City of a Thousand Spires, was a, was a large city in the Sunset Vale in the Western Heartlands region of West Faerun. While it retains its status as an independent city-state, it remains within the realm of influence of the 15th century of Edergard. So it's in West Faerun. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, I saw, I saw it was, and I was like, oh god, is the city gone? It probably got hit by the spell plague. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, it's, it's still around. Erebor is, is only a jaunt into the western, uh, into western Faerun. So whoever's looking for it, if Sister Gorel is looking for it, the location is still present. It hasn't been ravaged. And uh, I think the gods above, it's not somewhere in, like, they. I... Okay, well. well, I guess we fetch their information. Uh, maybe they'll be happy with it. Or maybe we won't get our rewards. 
Well, I... only one way to find out. I was a way out. Let's go ahead. Let's head home. Let's head home. All right. Uh, all right. Well, that is definitely going to. You are going to need to rest for the day. Yes. <laughs> Rip so my sleep nat on a graveyard. <laughs> Rip my nat twenty, but I could have blown that bandit's <laughs> no. head clean off. I no, hold on. I you could use it on my survival check. I got <laughs> maybe we maybe we just go out and look for trouble tonight. Like it'll be a bunch of goons about it. And just fucking... I mean, we. I mean, we, that's nothing stopping us from shaking the tomb, but we don't get double. Look, XP. I mean, here's the thing. If all all I want to make huh? sure if we're gonna mess with if we're gonna mess with this banshee somehow is uh, Sylvester <laughs> does one of these. What? <laughs> <laughs> And I go ahead and leave the map by another couple hundred feet and then shoot at him. <laughs> oh, you're doing, you're doing the, uh, you're, you're going off. You're, oh, you're just going off the map. You're going yeah, 300 I've feet the away. Dark void. <laughs> you're going what? 300 you feet away. I didn't realize you could do that. Go ahead, Brett. Please, please, my friend. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go into the void. I can't reach you when you're over there. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait really? No, no yes, way. I, I, let's <laughs> find out. Fuck around and find out. Let's see what happens. Come well, on. I don't want to go into the void. Come on, Michael. Let's head home. All right. <laughs> I did my checks. Okay. I have to do a survival check for food. Yes, you do. All right. You can have a. Okay. Never please, mind. please give me the twenty. Give me the twenty. No, I no, I have to declare it before. That's the law. Yeah, that is. Up. You, right. you gotta Matt, go slower you than that. Right. Fucked up. Oh, I, I use BG3 logic, man. I, I use so BG3. Oh, honestly, BG3 honestly, as far as it, as far as I've like always been with like the stream side of it, it's so hard to fucking catch that shit. Like, and yeah. be like, wait, wait, and like <laughs> stop people from rolling. Oh yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's it would be lot, funnier man. if Turk came back without food. I mean, come on, guys, what do you think? <sighs> yeah, I leave yeah. it up. I leave it up to you all. If you think uh, Turk should have the twenty, I will let you. I will give. I it would to give you. Turk You're lose my a twenty. Otherwise, right? Yeah. All right. Unless we get jump tonight. The snack. snack also, the role play of it being Boy. that you're using divination magic means there's a timeline where he's hungry, and there's a timeline you've given him where he finds the biggest bounty <laughs> of food. <laughs> Just like a whole like basket, picnic basket. Boy, we're having fun with that. Okay. Uh, so then you, uh, yeah, successfully find food again. Uh, the 20 has been spent. Uh, and you have been po po potated, I suppose. Um, and uh, yeah, you're well fed. You guys are by a water source. I mean, hell, I mean, you've heard of the old owl well that's over here. If you ever want to, you know, go over there for a little bit of extra what? water. What? <laughs> that huh? gigantic well, that huge fucking well over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about a. <laughs> just yeah, that's a weird location to just say like, oh. Yeah, that's a weird thing to well. bring up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I like, mean, we're already out here. We're nothing else. No, no. It's I, I realize that's fifteen miles away, so it's not just right oh. over there. Skip it. Well, ahead. I mean, but that's fifteen miles we're close to. We could. We we're never peak. coming back to the old owl well again. This is like when this is like one of those peak. side things you do in an RPG where you're like, if I don't do this now, I'm not going to. Right. Also, I feel like in like fantasy times, 15 miles off off your kind of road, that's not much. You know, that's like taking a five minute detour. Isn't it like the opposite where 15 like miles off the road when you have it's to like walk a day is like a man? <laughs> yeah, like that's that's, right. oh, that's yeah. the most. <laughs> But, you know, you don't do anything else. You're, you know? you're at a travel pace of 40 miles a day. That's half a day's travel, just about. I spend longer playing video games, man. Okay, that's, <laughs> this, is, this is a hobbyist thing. I leave, I, I, leave it, I leave it to you. I leave it all to you. You guys can travel another 10 days, or, or sorry, 10 miles before you have to take a uh, long rest. You can, are you heading uh, back to the direction of Phandalin? Are you trying to make your way to Thunder Tree? Or are you going to this, <laughs> this Wait, random place? Where's the castle is? Huh? Where's, where's the castle? Uh, oh, you don't know where the castle is. Uh, yeah, but we, we need to go to... Wait. Uh, the druid is at Thunder Tree? The druid is at Thunder Tree that knows yeah. the location oh, of the yeah. castle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Thunder Tree's right over there. Yeah. And going through the woods is a bad idea. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> but also, so is the so is the tree board trail. I mean, it's all it's all hell. No, there's no more of our area. characters have died on the trail than they have simply traveling through. That's the true. Trail. That's true. <laughs> Let's go back to Fandolin. <laughs> okay. We can come back out here 
Uh, but I I like us getting those health potions. <laughs> mm -mm. Two days, tra <laughs> like a two days travel to go to Old Owl Well. Understood. We oh. yeah, once we that well was we made closer to Fandolin, we get closer to the fucking mirror of dead men. <laughs> you guys want to go that way? True. <laughs> but Fandolin's the town, dude. What do you? What do you? Where all your stuff's at? Yeah, it's also mm, closer to the spooky Deadman. That's where Tur all of Turg's food is right now. Yeah, he's not wrong. Uh, a few snacks back home. All right, so I'm not gonna hit the long rest button again because I mean you all have are still at full resources. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to give a charge back to the staff of defense. Uh, we're doing the same uh, same order, same sleep order, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus, okay. look at that. God, you, oh. so, you so fast. So, However, what? I, I, before I go to the next day, I do have to make a roll to see if anything happens during the evening. Got it. Yeah, so do I, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, nothing on my end. What oh, you got there, right. Sylvester? None oh, on my end. Why is oh. it getting lower? I saw two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now it's three. Three, yep. Uh, you are traveling back. Uh, this is five, ten, fifteen. Okay, so you're going to arrive, like, right here. Like, just, like, ten miles away from Phandalin. Uh, if you push it, I believe you can arrive at Fandolin the next day. Hold on, I'm just... Oh. Are we in a rush, guys? Like... Not really. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> the ticking clock. Yeah, I'm not is... aware of how much of a rush there <laughs> actually is in character. All right. Uh, it is an uneventful day of travel. Uh, are you guys sleeping on the tree bore trail again for the next day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> those potents are gone. Uh, I'm going to make another roll to see if anything happens right. during the evening. Oh, yes. Can That's I take it. one of the potents for my food find? Uh, yes. Uh, the 18. The 18. Yeah. yeah, please. Absolutely. Just change mm. fate for my, my, my eating <laughs> habit. <laughs> Oh, I live. I think keeping you alive is all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little one d two. Okay, Eldrin. Uh oh. During your watch, you begin to hear sounds stirring around you. You have been discovered by something. But what? Let's find out. As I'm about to roll on the fucking encounter table. Let's go. Oh boy, <laughs> it's me waking up the party. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everyone needs. Hey, everyone needs hey, this. Up, up. <laughs> All right, I have to use the old encounter table. So let me just oh. get that real quick. One D four. Just get rid only. of my old temp HP. Sorry, I keep clicking the wrong game. This one, this one. Ah, there we are. I'm going to roll a 1d12. I love encounter tables. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. Yeah, laugh it up. Yeah. <sighs> All right. It's going to be an eventful evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <that> comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> Was that a... Is that, a, is that a five I see right there? Yeah. A five after your mm. other roll? Huh. Yeah. So oh, that means. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, is your familiar still out while you're sleeping? Uh, it uh, should be. Okay, cool. Does it sleep or it doesn't have to sleep? I don't think it has to sleep. Okay. It also uh, has like super dark vision. Right. So, I mean, it's it's not so much of getting surprised because you aren't getting surprised because, fortunately, you guys are you had someone on watch. So this will there will be no surprise around for this. Um, but we will be actually no. Um, as you're hearing the snarling and the approach, um, I think you would spend the round waking everyone up. Uh, does everyone yep. get up pretty easily? Mm hmm. All right. Yep. No, no one's sleeping. Sure no, no, wake. no one's prone. Ooh, 
Oh, baby. Um, and it <laughs> sounds like you are going to hear them. You're going to hear these sort of snarling, droning on. And for a moment, it sounds undead in nature. Um, and then you are going to realize that you're slowly uh, being surrounded uh, by these creatures. These many, many creatures. Uh, and I will now move you to the encounter map. And I'm excited. Five ghouls approach the party. Oh, no. Oh, no, I no, 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 fucking no. ghouls. No longer excited. Oh, <laughs> no, dude. They are so dangerous. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. This is bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to we need to get this road like another two hundred feet longer in the back. <laughs> With our arms right over. Uh... Um, this this is the, these are uh, quite literally going to be the positions of where uh, these creatures are approaching uh, as oh, you guys are fuck. slowly waking up. This is how far it would be as they're slowly coming from the woods. So, uh, time to play that nighttime right, wilderness could be it. battle this theme. Could be it, boys. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, wait. Fuck. <laughs> I should have not made you spend that important role. No, 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 no. It was we were on a new day. I have an 18 sitting on me. Uh, then no, you, no, no, oh, right? no. No, you what? are. You've got the old role. We haven't finished. This is during the night. Oh, while you guys are taking okay. Long sorry. Rest. I thought I thought we went to like another no, another I night. Got, I've, okay. got, I've got a lot of roles I got to do. Yeah. So damn. The, the fuck. In, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So the 18. I cannot no, no, fucking no. believe this dwarf forgot his goddamn rations. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we begin. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Yo. So, Yo. this creature. We do have that scroll. I know we do. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. Oh, you're right. Uh, we have a... be the only thing that gets us out. <laughs> we have something <laughs> for this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tommy. It's your turn. Tommy uh, is going and to... And Tommy, I got some bad news for you. Uh, yeah, what's you, up? You do not have mage armor right now because you just woke up. Uh, You're right. Okay, cool. Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's 10, 15. There's another one there. I can't see the other two, but yeah. I guess... Uh, yeah, uh, they're, 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 coming from, they're coming from the think... tree lines. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to point it out for me. Yeah, you right? are. <laughs> They're over okay. there! Absolutely! You yeah, can point yeah, yeah. it out. Talk of free action, right? I, I'll be like, in the tree over here! Hey, over there! Oh, you know the one on the road. I'll, I'll probably just point out the ones you don't know. Under behind the oh. tree over there! <laughs> right there! Well, right there! Right there! Well, well, okay. I'm, I'm, ca I'm doing calculations. I'm brain blasting. Um. Um, also, it yeah. is night, uh, but for, fortunately it's not super dark, but you are, you do have normal eyes, remember that. That's right, I do have funny night vision eyes, okay, yeah. not non-night vision eyes, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, sorry, the details on this spell scroll, there's an, a whole lot of them, what is the range of fireball? It's like... Is it ten or fifteen feet? Hundred and twenty feet. Out to no, 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 no. I mean the. I mean the. A twenty the, foot the radius. Twenty foot radius. Yes. So when you click Damn. it, um, you're gonna get a template that's gonna pop up. The template really? actually has squares now, so you can actually be able to place it uh, pretty well. Uh, but the range is hundred and fifty feet, and it's going to be a twenty foot radius. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, you, give, you give them I'm one start... turn to close in, and <laughs> you got it. You will need to make an intelligence check to cast this scroll. Uh, okay. Oh, because it's a higher level than you? Uh, because it's a fireball and you it, it's on your class list, but it's not a spell that you currently yeah. have. Okay, what happens if I fail? Does it just disintegrate uh, the scroll, then? Yeah, the scroll uh, just disintegrates. Okay, if here's it, the thing, Tomato, is that even right now I can hit four of them, I think. Yeah, hang on. Is it a intelligence check or an arcana check? Uh, intelligence is specifically an ability check. Well, what your spellcasting ability is, and and for Tommy, it's intelligence. Can someone mm. help with a check like that? Mm. 
Can someone help? Do we know the DC they have to beat? 13. Tommy yet does have another important, I guess. I, I believe it. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I don't know right. what I don't know what the other number is though, because I think you took the big one. I think it was like eighteen, and I don't the other, the other number is eleven. Oh. Wait, but I thought you said wait no, but I thought you said I didn't have this portent because it's it was the next. I I said it was the same day, but also I didn't want to power game you. I said, can I take that eighteen for the survival check? And then Brett said yes because I thought we were ending the day for good. Yeah. Wait. If you didn't hear that, then I didn't. I don't want to power. Oh game yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like. I didn't. I. I. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because we were. Well. So this is the day's over. The survival check was was taken. It was. It was. Yeah. You said okay. You were taken whatever. Yeah. Um. Um. Actually, one second. I don't think you rolled your new port and rolls yet. So you do have an eighteen eleven. This is from the day prior. So I do apologize. Or the, the current. Day. Except okay. I don't have an eighteen apparently because Joe like used. Well, what it. about the eleven? Like the eleven is adds your modifiers after the eleven. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on one second. So Junior, you're saying you would not have given the eighteen to Turk. I mean, uh, like in hindsight, maybe not, but like, I don't, this didn't happen to me. Like this didn't, yeah. I, I don't remember this survival so, check so, happening. All right. So I'm going to give you the, and then we're just going to have to be honest with this because now no matter what happens, the only yeah. one that's going to be able to hand the port out is going to be Junie. Even if you're like, Hey, I'm going to take okay. that to the survival no, 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 check. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so hold on, let's, <laughs> let's, hold on, please. So what I yeah. need now is as we're kind of rewinding a little bit before this mm. encounter. Survival check. Th yes, you would have done a yeah, survival check. No, that makes now, sense. That makes hold sense. on, hold yeah, on, hold on. But now I'm. Let me finish this, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would Tommy have given the eighteen yes. so Turd would have eaten food? All right. Yeah. So then you do not have the eighteen. You have an yes. eleven. Can I ask you yes. a question though? Yes. It, because it was kind of a spam thing. You can. Oh no! You give the portent before one. Sorry. No, yeah. yeah. You so you you ate reaction. food. Yeah. yeah. So what happened was you ate the you got the survival. You ate the food. You guys went to sleep. The ghoul encounter's happening. The long rest has not happened yet, which means Tommy has an eleven and only an eleven. Yes, which is not proficient. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cast fireball. Uh, Can you help see. with this roll? Can someone do the I help action with this roll? Someone I think would. We Someone would have to give, yeah. Someone would have to give him a help action. Right now, he is not aided with the help action, so he'd so have to he'd have to wait until someone comes up. If you hold for Sylvester, then, I'm yeah, willing my, to my, hold my, my turn. Imp can help. I'm willing to hold my turn. Yeah. Excellent. I love the idea of the imp helping. <laughs> You're too great. Oh yeah. yeah. Tom, yeah. Tommy Absolutely. starts to like. He takes out the scroll and he starts to read it and like, uh, he starts to look like really panicked. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't. I don't know if I can do this one. So uh, he's gonna hold his turn. All right, Sylvester turn. Uh, go ahead and hit end turn. Oh, or... sorry, sorry. Nope. There was You're a good. lot going on. Uh, Sylvester. Uh, first of all, Sylvester is going to use his action to cast armor bag at this on himself. Let's see it. Oh my God. Temp we, HP. We like it. Yeah. Michael, help, help Stephen decipher that <laughs> scroll. <laughs> Michael, Michael, can you read this? And then as a bonus action, you're commanding the help action. Okay. Yeah. Which means the reaction would uh, take place. And Tommy, go ahead and make an intelligence check at advantage. Okay. And you can, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. One sec, I'm just trying to find it. Shift and click. Ability check. Mm-hmm. All right, that is an eight. Uh, so that that's the <laughs> out, out, you rolled a four right, and a enough. seven. Yes, uh, the scroll just just evaporates in your yeah, hand. Yeah, sometimes the dice just aren't on our side. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna back up a few feet. Uh, wait, no, is it my? It is my turn. Mm -hmm. If you all are deciding to run, uh, not saying you guys are doing that, but if you all are deciding to run, uh, please let me know and you'll have to dedicate your entire turn to get off the map. Once you get off the map, uh, you'll just begin trying to run uh, faster than these things. So um, is that, does that become a like a chase or is it like a guaranteed thing if we get far enough? Uh, if you get far enough, um, it will... You know, you, you, you may or may not outrun it. So it, it really depends if it goes after you. But I would just need to know if you're trying to, if your intention is to escape the battle. I would just need to know. 
Okay. I don't think I can outrun these things, but if it came down to it and shit got bad, Turg would sacrifice himself to hold hold it back. So, if you guys need to run at any point. All right. What? Turg. Hey, I won't be able to run them. I've got 25 right. feet. He is a dwarf. Dwarf, dwarf. Now, we could keep pushing them back so they have to dash towards us and just do as much range as we can. How far away is this one from you? No, it's going to get to you next turn. I've got to get in there. Okay. I'm going to go in. The dice tell a tale. Tug steps up. Weapon out. I'm going in for the swing. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> All right. A six misses. Oh, bud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm done. Okay, here we go. Boom, baby. One, two. This thing's running in. <laughs> it's just charging in. Veldrin. Uh <sighs> my Fuck. my weapon's not adding my uh proficiency bonus, by the way. Uh which weapon is this? Talon. Talon? Give me one is, second. Is it, it's a plus one weapon, right? And I should have plus two from strength, plus two from proficiency. Not that it would have mattered for that role, but... Um... Proficient. Oh, it had an uh, automatic. All right. Um, Go ahead and uh, roll again. Okay. I don't mind taking that off if you don't want. No, oh. no, no. Hey, that, that's always been my rule. If something's wrong with the button, you have to... Re you just re-roll. Um, so 21 hits, and you'll deal seven points of damage. Check in here. All right, seven points of damage. Yeah, you'll have the sword will slash up as these things are just beginning to surround you. Do you know what? No, actually, no, no, it's my turn. Yeah, go. Would you have taken the action surge? I think if I hit, yeah, because I'm go realizing I, I might just die otherwise, right? Might as well go. just use it in the first go round. Go for it. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, boom. That will also hit for nine points of damage, and I believe that makes the creature bloodied. Okay. Okay, so they have at least. 16 health and and well actually we can work off okay yeah Veldrin fuck oh ghouls baby ghouls. man we were having so much fun weren't we we were <laughs> <laughs> fuck we're going to This battle song is so ominous. All I think about is death <laughs> so every time scary. I hear it. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're going to try and set this up. Who knows if it's going to work. Um, there is a moment where Veldrin sort of uh, pointing forward, his hands become wreathed with uh, this sort of violet light, and he's going to cast out fairy fire. Ooh. Oh, huge. All right, let's see Big. it. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Hefty okay. One. Yeah, the uh, AoE squares Ooh. actually are squares now, which are awesome. All Dude, right. Dude, that slaps. Here we go. It makes it so much easier. Come on, come on. Normal rolls. Yeah, that's okay. So oh. one of them, <laughs> one of them fails. That one is wreathed uh, in fairy fire. I mean, any attack rolls against that, as long as I maintain concentration, are at advantage, and it cannot uh, turn invisible or hide. Um, <laughs> oh, turd, my lad. Uh, we're gonna move up, and we're gonna try to use I'm my bonus sure action to hide. Don't risk yourself for me. Escape him from afar. I can take it. <laughs> it use my cunning action. Let's see it. Ooh. That's a good roll. That's my turn. Uh, I rolled for Michael. I will be removed. I will be yeah, Michael does not need to be on the turn order. <laughs> he moves. Ah, oh, and so it begins. All right. Come at me. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, I think we're going to immediately start with this. It's going to 
rush over just just sort of this and it just leaps up uh and it's gonna try and claw you 14 does not hit tommy uh ghouls are undead correct Unfortunately, I can't answer that. You'll have to make a check. No way. I'm, a, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It seems like, yeah, like a pretty right, right. undead creature to it me. It seems undead, but like, I don't know. I, I know like the lore of ghouls and... Uh, Sometimes you just gotta follow your heart and assume, you know. Mm, no, it's just I have like a few problems. Okay, can I use my... Fuck. If I... Okay, if I use my bonus action to like make some kind of check on them to see if they were undead is that like would i have a disadvantage on that because i can't see them <laughs> oh well, you can see one of them because they're glowing yeah right one of them is glowing you're right okay one moment please uh hmm I think because we're just doing a general knowledge check, um, mm. I will allow a actually a free religion check. A free religion check. Or arcana. Okay. Or arcana or religion. Or arcana. Um, uh, they're the same thing for me. I'll do an arcana check. Understood. All right, Tommy, what do you know about ghouls? All Yo, right. he knows a lot about ghouls. So, uh, a couple of things that you you know about ghouls. Ghouls are undead. Um, okay. They are evil undead um, mm. with necrotic magics uh, surging within their body. Uh, they have the ability to paralyze with their claws, and that's what yep. they tend to do. They try to seize someone up so that they can then tear them apart with their razor-sharp teeth. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, which one is glowing? Uh, it would be that one. Yes, with the little icon on okay. it. Okay. Uh, I'd like to use my action to cast bonfire underneath that one. Will that give me enough light to see the rest of them? Uh, yeah, it will create a, it will create a uh, light source. Okay. Uh, let's see here. They have to make a deck save of... It didn't go. <sighs> I have to see what's going on. Oh, oh, sh sorry. Okay, I think I figured it out. Um, there we go. Um, so I need to know what uh, square you are at, because you're kind of like sharing four squares. So you're doing here, I guess, or? Uh, I was just trying to cast it on the ghoul. There's kind of like a radius on it for some reason. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's just a five foot square. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So yeah, I put it. That. I put it there. Excellent. Um, so it's gonna light up. I'm actually gonna throw a bonfire down, uh, and it's gonna target that one ghoul. Yep. Okay. Dex eleven. Here I go. Where the hell is it? Ah, there it is. I'm gonna just drop that there, and then I'm gonna make a Dex eleven. Uh, it will uh, dodge. Okay. Cool, but now uh, I can see, so yes. I'm going to end my turn. And I believe uh, bonfire is concentration, correct? Oh my it is God. concentration. Oh, you cast so many bonfires. Okay. There we go. You have to see what's going on with your sheep. Yeah, spell sorry. Casting. No, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, okay, uh, Sylvester. Okay, first of all, um, is Sylvester allowed to go 30 more feet down the road? Yes, I mean, there's no invisible wall stopping you. Great, Sylvester's <laughs> gonna move farther down the road. I'm going to cast Hex. Hang on, I actually can't see. The one thing I can't do is see the creatures while I move out of uh, that, okay, out so, into the void. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna add on your elevation how far you're leaving so I know how far you're okay, away. Okay, sounds, sounds good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Hex on this one. Okay. Right there. Cast it. Good old Hex. Uh, and then I'm going to blast it at advantage. All right. 24. Ooh. For 11 force damage plus another uh, one, so 12 damage. Then I'm going to have... This is also... I'm going to move them up either way because I want to have another target uh, that uh -huh. they can attack that is a Turg. And Michael's pathetic. 
Uh, but also, can, uh, in your ruling for the hardcore thing, can a familiar help with attacks? Uh, yeah, advantage? no, I mean, it's so hardcore is just I have to follow the letter to, I have to follow the letter to the T. A familiar can do a help action, and Great. that's the way it is. Uh, then this familiar is going to help Turg lift this target. Okay. Badass. Um, so you're doing advantage, 11. Um, for some reason, it's telling me I can't put the, oh, it did. Oh my god, it did apply the, oh no, it's 8, 11. You rolled the D6 for the hex? Yep. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, and who are you targeting again? I apologize. The the this fairy one fire with the one. Fairy fire right now. Excellent. So that's gonna be twelve points of damage. Uh, bloodied. It is bloodied. Okay. So they have at least at, at most twenty four HP. Very good. Oh yeah, chat. What I mean is, I have to follow the letter. I have to follow the the rules to a T, so I can't make uh, different rulings if the if the official rules tell me otherwise. Um, so Can I ask a stupid question because I'm not sure on the answer. Yes, a psycho question to ask. Did the PHB have anything about sleeping in heavy armor? I, <laughs> or did that I, come in Xanathas? I I think sleeping in heavy armor. I think you're supposed to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because if it if it came, I don't know if it came in the PHP or Xanathus, but I think one of it them came has a thing in on the, it. It actually it looks like it came in the uh, uh, Xanathus, which means oh, as far as the there's PH, no rule on it. In there's PHP. no rule on it. There's no rule. <laughs> Yo! On it. Thank fucking god! Oh. That like I don't want to be like the shitlord that later on is like I <laughs> no, shouldn't be wearing armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I. It's yeah. There's. I don't think there were. I mean, rules lawyers will correct me uh, if there were. If there were rules outside of Xanathar's in the PHB or the DM's guide. Going to be awkwardly somewhere hidden away. Yes, uh, but I. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was an official ruling. It's an Thank optional God. rule in Zan if it's in Zan you know, it was in Xanathar's. It, it addressed it. Apparently, it was a known issue. But uh, we're here, in 2014, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. I love 2014. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's how that works. Okay, uh, so you you had uh, Michael do the help action on Turg. Is that correct? Yes. Excellent. All right, Tur uh, next up is going to be... Oh, boy, the fight continues. Here we go. Five, <laughs> this is the big hit here. This is three attacks. Yeah, and they're all trying to scratch for you because they want to slow you down. 15 does like not that. hit. Nope. This one's also going to claw. Oh, that's a... Oh. <gasps> oh. Wait, no, oh. you interrupted me. What were you going to say? I did. Uh, it's going to roll an 11. All right, it rolls an 11. It, it misses. And then this one's going to... Boop. Boop. Nice. Boop. He's got to make a deck save. Mm, why? Bonfire's still there. Oh, is it uh, five feet uh, around? I think if he if starts you... his turn within Bonfire. Yeah. Oh, yes. Then, yes, I will be making a deck save. Can you please uh, roll me another Bonfire? Yep. Oh, that one's side within five feet, too, right? So it's it's the, the Bonfire was the bonfire was on his space. Uh, oh. Should I do it if it says I'm already concentrating? Like, do you just want me to roll another bonfire? Just roll a dice. Just... just roll the dice, and I'll make a deck save. Oh, you're right. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every little that helps. Damn. That's pretty right. cool. Here I go. Uh, I take one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Honestly, it, it, every little bit know, helps. Every we know little, he has like 12 health left. That helps. Yeah, yeah. Every, every little bit helps. All right. Going for the claw. Miss. Turg. Uh. The fucking hero dwarf holding back <laughs> all of all of them. Let's go. I am Godspeed. going to uh, attack the one just ahead of me because they get advantage on the other one. And if... Uh, I've got the help action, then I'll get advantage on this guy, I think, right? Uh, yes, uh, if you're, yeah, so you can actually attack advantage on him. Yes, that is correct. I'll try and kill the guy. Damn! Oh, Big number. Uh, Whoa, how, do you, how do you dispatch the ghoul? Decapitate. Just straight. Oh! Ah! Come on, you bastard! Let's go! <laughs> oh, God. Um... I hate okay. that I feel genuine anxiety right now. I, <laughs> I know. I that's that. that was a great time. <laughs> that's, that's the beauty of the hardcore game. Uh, one gone, another takes its place. Claw. Miss. Eldrin. 
Okay, uh, still hidden. I'm going to take a shot at this lad. Uh, and you are hidden. I love how you assumed that, but yes, you are hidden. Who are you shooting at? I'm not 26, good sir. I'm shooting <laughs> this one right here. You're feeling confident. Uh, roll at advantage. That hits 10 nice. points of damage. One moment, please. Uh, oh yeah, roll for sneak attack. What are you talking about? Give me my sneak attack, baby. Give me that sneak attack. That is... It says I'm not within five feet of the target. Oh! Uh, uh, just roll a 2d6. I have to, lo I have to look at MIDI QOL and figure out what's going on with that. Very well. 2d6. Hey! Damn! Creature is bloody. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to keep skirting around. Uh, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide again. Let's see it. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> That's my turn. <sighs> Christ, the ghoul massacre continues. This one goes for the claws. Uh -oh. oh! Oh no! Constitution saving throw, please. Can I also your use <laughs> uh, my reaction when it hits me. Okay. Uh to do my parry, which would reduce the damage I take. By a, by, by a die? Just by a d8, yeah. Let's see it. Just in case things get bad, I need all the help I can get. Okay, all right. Just knock off a little two damage there. That's fine, that's fine. Then, take every little bit you can get. And then each, uh, where is it? Uh, attributes, con. Yeah, if I need a saving save. throw. Normal. Mm. He's, he seizes up, paralyzed. That's bad. That's that's, that's very mm. bad. I still have to get through my AC. Don't worry. Tommy. <laughs> I look up. Oh, my head. That's, uh, that's not how in the paralyzed air. works, my good sir. Uh, oh, no, it's auto crit. Attacks within five feet are an auto crit. Yep, so you're right. Yeah. Uh, you just have to Tom. kill them all in the next turn. Yeah, Tommy's gonna cast magic missile at the second level on um, the one that's bloodied, the one to the left of Turk. All right, and keep in mind you can split these missiles up. So go ahead oh, and cast the cast out. Sorry, I'm creating a bonfire for some reason. No. I, like, sorry, sorry, I just double checked for condition. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical. You hit. still have ah. to break through the AC. You have to break the AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay. We all, we all oh, breathe. Fuck. It's still good. Christ, still a chance. Yeah. All okay. right. All right. So you've got, uh, that's three points of damage. And then uh, it's still alive. it's going to be four missiles. Uh, so uh, roll a 1d4 plus one. Okay. And we'll kind of do missile, missile, missile. Okay. I'll just call it the other one. That sounds good. All right. Uh, the, the second missile. How do you dispatch of that ghast? It just or pew, cool. like a little like a little light arrow just uh i don't know goes through his brain all right uh, and the third uh missile where would you like to target uh are any of these other ghouls injured yet that one's bloodied uh that one's and, bloodied? and i'm gonna move this one uh because yeah that one's dead uh so yeah the only one that's bloodied is this one these two okay. are still i'm gonna send the remaining untouched. two at the bloodied one all right that's one Good roll. and pew. Solid still, hits. Still Yippee. standing. All right. Uh, that is going to have to be my turn. Good luck. <sighs> Sylvester. Yeah, Sylvester's going to blast the bloodied one. Let's go. That's a nat 20. That's a Whoa! fucking nat yes! 20. <laughs> How do you dispatch of it? Give me the scene. Uh, I think oh. you fucking like clean everything above the waist is just ash. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I love it. And oh. uh, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just gonna have uh, poor Michael here attempt to still help him. Just, just help. Yeah. Get in the way. Do something. I'm gonna use my bonus action to move my hex. hex to this guy. Understood. The hex has been moved. Hey, guess what, Turg? The three ghouls that were in front of you are now dead. Give me a Constitution saving throw. God damn right. Heroes around me, man. Heroes around me. <laughs> Fucking ghouls, dude. Nope. Still damn paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a valid attempt uh with you seized up and paralyzed you'll watch as the ghoul's claws drop down to their sides and then they lunge mouth open ready to feed 
This will be at advantage, this bite. 19 to break your AC. Hits. This Hits. is a this will be a critical hit. Mm. All right. 14 points of damage Ooh, as you as fine. you begin to watch yeah. him just tear uh, right into Turg, Veldrin. A bloody okay. sight in front of you as Turg is now bloodied. Indeed. Um, <laughs> okay, I need to ask, is this lad aware of me? No. Sorry for assuming last time. No, you're good. Thank you for the uh, apology. If he is not, I would like to take a light crossbow shot at him. Do it. That misses. Oh, baby. Uh, okay, yeah. We are going to uh, keep moving, keep our tactics as they have been, uh, and bonus action stealth again. Question, do I get hit before by something? Mm, no. Wait. Because yes. taken... What'd you get hit by? You got hit by something. What he was it? Hit, he got hit by something and had to use the parry thing, remember? Oh, you oh, right. Yeah. That's, you yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, how, that, that's how you paralyzed before was from the scratch. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. Okay. All right, you're, that's your, your stealth. Understood. Uh, top of the round. Now this ghoul, uh, seeing a tasty treat in front of it, will join in on the feast. This is rolled the immediate advantage. Miss. Tommy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Uh, yeah, Tommy's going to cast Magic Missile again. All right. Uh, at uh, the one just like directly in front of Turg, the one that lunged first. Okay. Uh... All right. Five points of damage. Uh, you have two more, I believe, two more missiles. Uh, three more missiles. Oh, you cast the second level. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Three points. Pew. Seven points. Uh, it's now bloodied. Two points. All right. Two more. Uh, that has to be it, though, for me. All right. Sylvester. Sylvester's going to get down prone on the ground. <laughs> oh, oh right. baby. Gonna shoot out advantage as a result with his Eldritch Blast at this one's fucking head. Let's see down it. Down range. Uh, oh. 20 to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, that will be four points of damage. Plus another six because of nice. Hits. How do you dispatch the ghoul? Nice. Clean, oh. Just decapitation. Head gone. <laughs> Uh, I my turn. Michael's okay. doing the same thing. Okay. Uh, you're, oh, you're, I gotta you're make doing, sure I'm adjacent to this guy. You're doing the help I'm action. Yes, I mean, I'm gonna continue me... to help while being adjacent. Are you rolling your your uh, your constitution at advantage with the help help action? Uh, I don't think you can help with constitution. Oh, I'm, you can't help with saving with, throws. If Turg gets out of paralysis, I he'll have to help on the attack. I can't do anything for saving. Okay, yeah, I get mixed up with the help action. Her, give me a constitution saving throw. Still paralyzed. He's new to control. Oh, no, buddy. Turk's attack rolls are wait, so wait, good, wait, but it's everything wait, wait, else is fucking BS. You're a fighter. You should, be, yeah. you should have proficiency in this saving throw. Oh, yes, you should. Oh, yeah. You're right. I don't know why he keeps not adding it. I, I it, it wasn't checked off for some reason. Uh, Go ahead and give me a roll. Fortunately, this, the rolls you have been making uh, would not have succeeded for you, so... Yep, there it is. <laughs> no way! Oh, holy All shit. right, we've tried. We've tried. Holy we've shit. tried. <laughs> Your uh, fours would have been sixes. They still would have been failures. So yep. fantastic. We uh, we did everything we could. Yes, sir. We move out. Uh, uh, once again, <laughs> like a like a broken record. Is this lad aware of? Yes, me? he he is not aware. Give me an All advantage right. roll. Dispatch of the beast. Seven points of damage. Sneak attack, please. Uh, not six, sneak point six points of damage. It is now bloodied. Alright. But, but not move. beaten. Use my movement and then try attempt to hide again with my bonus action. Let's see it. Okay. It all comes down to this. The ghoul arrows slamming into it, but this feast is too tempting. That misses. Oh. Tommy. Uh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Plenty of first level magic missiles left in me. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. You got two missiles left. 
You're goddamn right. <laughs> You're goddamn right. How do you dispatch of this ghoul? Oh, yes. Uh, goes into his ear, out the other ear. That's <laughs> funny. Nice. Oh, that's pretty quirky. That's pretty yeah. quirky. I it's not much to do eyes. with a tiny little dart. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, let me uh, inform you what will happen. Uh, after a few more seconds, oh. Turg will awaken from his seized paralysis, uh, bloodied uh, but not defeated, still alive. Thanks I mean, to all of you. Win. You are 21. <laughs> uh, and, and with that encounter over, I must stop the session as you guys successfully mm -hmm. defeated the ghouls uh you will uh yeah uh, you will to gather up yourselves you will be able to finish your you will at this point be able to complete your long rest and then the next day you continue back oh, to fandolin ending fuck. today's Sweaty. adventure <laughs> that was so dangerous dude. my body is drenched in sweat uh let me go ahead and tally up all of the uh experience yeah, that's gonna you be got some today. good xp right there though yeah all things considered that went super well yeah, that, <laughs> that could have been, been really bad fucking brutal all right mm -hmm. Uh, and then I just need to check one final thing. Right. Like the moment the spell scroll failed, I was like, this oh, that's it. Yeah, I, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was definitely I, like, oh, that it's over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you guys are you guys are level three. You're you're able to handle your shit. You're doing wonderful. Uh okay. And then I want this, so. You each will receive today 475 experience points. Ooh, Jesus. Damn. You're at, you are now at four, 1,469 experience points. Wait, does that? Nice. Does that yes? mean, wait. It means nothing. Okay. You level up at yeah. 2,700. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 you're right. Nice. Okay, for some reason. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Right. DM, may I have my uh, level <laughs> now, please? No, I, th I listen, I had the wrong number in my head. That's why. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's get some. Let's let's do our bingo and then let's wrap wrap up today. Sound good with you guys? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Good work. Everyone. Fantastic session. <laughs> oh, my God. That, mm, that might be the most productive session we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we just got shit done. Yeah. You just kept going. Yeah, that was a, that was a nice little like hit the side quest up session. Yeah, you did great. Uh, you're about to get three more healing potions. You're you're doing you're doing wonderful. Um, I oh actually no bingo today. Um, no bingo. Oh, no, no bingo, bingo okay. today. Our, I think no our bingo. I think our bingo duck is too is busy right now playing some D and D. So that's completely ah, understandable. Understood. Okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much, and we will continue this next Saturday. Sound good? Yes, sir. Sounds yeah, good. thank you. All right, I'll see you guys next.